Hello, everybody. I think I'm ready to get started. Welcome, Calvisha. So I think technically we have one thing between us and the Benevidons. I believe I have to go back to the fortress first. But yeah, I mean, the game was kind of foreshadowing that forever. Let's be real. Why else did we care about the names of the different Benevidons in the book? So anyway, uh, well, we got the sword. We have Blammy. And I guess we're ready to just go to the Sand Fortress. I believe that's where the game wanted us to go. Let's not pick up that controller. I made the mistake again last time as well. I'm gonna go ahead and pause the music and I guess jump back into things. Hopefully you're doing well, Calvisham. Fortunately, there is the blinking dot in case I forgot where it was. But we should be good here. Hmm. So I'm just doing a quick inventory check. So I think I... Okay, so I got the single target and multi in here. Should be good with the healing. Let's proceed. Doing fine, says Calvisham. I feel exhausted, to be honest with you. It's been a rough day. Not as rough as it was for that enemy, though. So I'm allegedly about four levels under level, which is interesting. I don't know how badly I want to level more. That did an insane amount of damage. Uh, why couldn't I swap? It's annoying. That is so annoying. I went to swap characters. I don't know if because it was on his mid move. I thought I could. Okay, I mean, that's fine. I mean, I guess I got through it, but it's just kind of annoying that happened. Whatever. I have to remember to try to swap out quicker. Well, I mean, it's not really my fault either because it's it's kind of instant. It's not like I could tell if it was going to be AoE or not. Yeah, whatever. So anyway, um, I think I learned how to death cancel, but I can't do it, I think, as the current character. So the way it kind of works, to my understanding, to avoid dying in this game, Remember how on the previous stream, I kept getting down to like 1 HP and I thought that was really weird? Well, I practiced something off stream, but I guess the criteria is I can revive myself as long as one other person is able to heal. So let's say my protagonist is, at one, is reduced to zero. There's a brief moment where they're at 1 HP. If I have somebody else throw like a chocolate, for example, I can stop them from dying. I don't know if there's a limitation on what items can be used in order to do it, like there was in Secret of Mana. But that is a thing, apparently. Because I was kind of thinking there was, based off of our previous conversations. Wait, how do I reach that chest? Well, that's gonna bother me. It's just kind of there. Wait, how do you even... Oh, maybe you have to go, maybe you have to go up along the cliff. Maybe maybe these go up and around. I mean, I kind of just want the chest. I don't think there was an item up here, but I was just going to check real quick. So there there is kind of like a death abuse in this game, but it's one of those things where it's like I don't know all the mechanics since I don't play the game. Yeah, see, that doesn't touch there. Hmm. I mean, I'm not going to worry about it too much. I'm just curious where these go out. If I can't figure it out, I can't figure it out. I don't super care, ultimately. I was just looking to see if it was just like an easy item pickup. This will give me another chance to hit the enemy here. You see, this one doesn't have like the other paths. Okay, so it's only on this side I'm able to come over here. Wow, all it is is candy. That is not really worth it. 
worth it. Welcome, Parameter. Hope you're doing well. Welcome to treasures in this game are garbage. <laughs> Just like to state this. The the reward system for finding chests. I think that was the first time we really had a chest out in the open. I have to say, not impressed. Not even like remotely impressed. Couldn't even be like the honey jam or something. Had to be the literally worst healing item. Cool. Also, are allies seriously stuck? So I'm about to take massive damage because they're too dumb to do anything here. So unfortunate. <sighs> Durin, I really need you to actually fight. You're kind of like almost all of our DPS. Uh, so not worth it, essentially. I'm just gonna full heal and then move forward. I don't really plan on leveling that much between now and the other place. Like, this was just me going for an item, mostly. I have very low hopes slash faith that I'll get something interesting. Oh, we're healing statue, though. And that's why I'm glad we didn't use many items at all to get here. sad that they woke up the other enemy. Use your special. Well, now it's too late. <laughs> oh, like, come on, game. I'm mashing that special button. He should have been dead a long time ago. Oh, cool. He still got his attack out, even though I definitely hit him before he died. Cool. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. That right there, Chad. That is obnoxious. He literally just spelled me and died. Well, I'm going to go heal because I don't feel like wasting MP. But anyway, let's try to avoid combat if I can. Just gonna try to immediately go in this door that's over here. Hopefully I can just d dip out. Hmm. Welcome, Dango. Hope you're doing well. Okay, progress at last. Let's go up here. Never mind. It has been so long since I've been here, I really don't remember what the real route is to get through this place. It's kind of unfortunate. I don't think we went here in this playthrough because it was off limits before. I'm gonna do this just so I could get further in the room. Play Charlotte briefly. I am gonna read that message in just a second. Discord name is Scott Mason. Interesting. Well, if you're a real person, welcome to the stream. <laughs> I'm not quite sure. I've never had a message that long before. But you are more than welcome to join our Discord if you would like. It doesn't hurt to plug regardless. <laughs> if you're not hammer is ready, says Kalvisham. Kalvisham's like, and my hammer! Hmm. So we're gonna go through some of these side rooms. Yeah, I think when this is all wrapped up, I'm gonna do some uploads, which should eventually include the uh, very small PSO video. Although I'm still kind of tinkering with it, so maybe it'll be delayed a bit, but most of it is recorded now, at least. 
in a way that I like it. The door is shut. Hmm. Side entrance here. You know, I, I swear, if this is just like candy, candy, chocolate, I'm gonna get actually really upset, chat. I want you to know. I'm gonna get fully salty if this is just garbage items. Wait, how do we reach that? Now oh, I'm a little confused. Is there another door that I didn't see? So we went through here. It feels like there should be a lower level to this. Hmm. Where is... I mean, it's possible it's just kind of a tease and we can't actually reach it. Hmm. As I'm trying to picture, like, where this would be... Uh, I mean, maybe... Do I really want to go all the way down, though? I guess, like, when we literally first came... Okay. Fine, I'll do one brief detour to see if this is a real thing. So I'm trying to think. Positionally, I think we have to come back to the previous room. Was there another door over here I just didn't know about? Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, okay. Mondo icon? Why can't I have more? Why is it telling me I have enough shuriken? What? What? Why am I not allowed to pick these up? Hello? <laughs> I'm so lost. Is it because I have too many one-offs or something in here? I'm like, I'm pretty sure I should be able to hold more. Uh, let's see. I mean, I could get rid of... No, because this list scrolls. Why am I not able to pick these up? Is that like a really big oversight with them that I can't just pick more of these up? That is really dumb. So there's three items in here. I don't even have a Mondo icon. I should be able to put stuff in storage. I mean, like, I'll put- I'll do something like this for now, to just get rid of these. Oh, the lag on the menu is horrendous. Wait, can I just... Oh, I could just move it to storage in general. Let's see if this works. Oh, the lag. <laughs> There's so much of a delay, chat. It's horrendous. Holy, what is that, like, five second delay? Come on. Game, please. I just want to see what the items do. That is a really, really stupid oversight. Can we talk about that? Why... Why doesn't this automatically go to storage if it's in a treasure chest? Like, true talk, chat. This menu is horrendous. Also, wrong button. An enemy from far away. What does the other thing do? Oh, Salamando. Oh, that makes sense. Well, anyway, I don't think I super care about any of that. I'm just, just curious what it was. So we're going to put these away. I don't need the shuriken. I don't need Mondo. And one more bumpkin. That crazy delay is something else. I kind of don't like that it messed up my total order, but I really don't feel like rearranging items with how slow this input is. It's kind of unfortunate. Oh my gosh, game, please. Um, 
here's a question. I'm hoping Stardust Herb is my full ailment cure. I just realized looking at that, I have no way of checking what the items actually do. And I forgot there was more than one herb. Heals all effects. Okay. I want to bring that in just in case. That's like the only item I'm interested in picking up at this point. I could go buy that later, I think, as well. Just to make sure I can be immune to status ailments. Of course. Guarding the character that's trying to leave pushes me halfway across the screen. Cool. So let's try to get to that second floor. So we can't go through there to the throne room. Not interested in this fight. Let's move on. Smack him away from me and move forward. So there's two different doors here. I don't think I want anything to do with that room. This is looking promising. We're going up another floor. Oh. Never mind. Not entirely sure where our destination is here, because I would have thought the door that was sealed would have been it. So is this just the other side? Yeah. Do we need to physically come outside? But I could take this door. Cool. <laughs> I don't know where our destination is. Is there another door here somewhere? Okay, there's like a staircase. I'm gonna be honest with you, Chad. I really don't know where we're supposed to go here. So the door, the door to the throne room was sealed. So here's an example. I think I can show death canceling if I do it right. I don't like that it split my healing items out. That really bothers me. Let's see if this works. Yeah, I just death canceled. There we go. So it didn't seem to matter what item I used for that. And I got the item I actually wanted. That's convenient. Because I want more status ailment cures in case I get silenced. It's mostly what I want it for. I don't really care about poison or the other status ailments in this game. Just silence. So there we go. Nice little, nice little death abuse there. So that's how we could get away with being low level. I'm gonna be honest with you, chat. <laughs> like, I'm looking at this and I'm like, I thought it wanted us to go to the throne room, but clearly not. So like, what, what, what do I have to do if I don't have to go here? Okay. I mean, I, I don't think I could go higher up. There's no... I don't feel any hidden doors rubbing against the walls. I went out here. That just led to a separate area where I fought something and got attacked. Which didn't feel 100% right. We went to the upper floor, but that didn't have anything. I mean, is it possible that there was something... Oh, there's another door here. Uh, wait, where does this staircase come from? Hold on, let's learn today. Yeah, yeah, heal all you want. I don't care. Oh. I I eventually got there, I suppose. Belladonna says, you made it, Leneth. Now then, hand over that sword and I'll let your fairy go. You are the foulest of foul. Huh, you think your insults can hurt me? Don't try anything or your friend may die. Now, Malakoshio. The mana sword was taken. Ah, the mana sword. With this, his dark majesty can take over this realm. What is going on? Oh. The Sword of Mana must be rejecting corrupted souls from taking control of it. Stop this foolishness! You think so, hmm? The 
The sword of mana reflects the heart of its wielder. With the dark power entrusted to me by his dark majesty, I can corrupt the sword itself. Yes, now the sword of mana belongs to his dark majesty in Mavolia. No! Our work here is done. We must release the Benevidons in each mana stone and plunge the human world into chaos. Once we purge the world of humans, his dark majesty, heir of Mavolia, will be revived in this realm. Come, Belladonna. Oh, they just kind of flicker dance out of the screen. Oh no! I'm so sorry, you lost the sword because of me! Do not blame yourself, fairy, but we have lost the mana sword. How can we stop them from releasing the Benevidons? Oh no, it's already started. Quick, let me back inside you. I'll show you what's happening to the stones. Close your eyes. So we can now officially blame Fairy for everything that's about to happen. Oh, we're seeing them crack. I don't even remember that one. Okay, that was the ice caves. That was the lunar kingdom. That was the dryad forest. Ooh, there we go. All the special effects. This is horrible. The Benevidons have awakened, but they've only just revived. We still stand a chance. Okay, chat, we could still blame Fairy for this, that's fine. Oh, hold on, chat, hold on. We're, we're gonna go say goodbye to somebody with a Twitch addiction. They are in... Ooh, 140 channels. Well, let, let's, let's give their eyes a rest, chat. <laughs> right now, all eight Benevidons are separate. We could defeat each one before they join and combine their power. Let's go to the Monostones. Ah, uh, yes, the very real name of Michael QM35A something. Hmm. So, curiosity. If I just come up here, are all the enemies still here? They are. Uh, so, I was expecting a boss fight, to be honest with you. I'm just coming back here to heal. And I guess now we get to pick our own adventure of which ones I want to do first. I don't think it really matters. From what I recall, the enemies will scale up. So no matter what order I do, it's basically going to get harder no matter what I do. Uh, do I just want to go off of which one's closer? I guess. So I guess we could do Salamando, then I could go north and just kind of sweep around. So I'll start at the south end and go upwards, I guess. Defeat the Benevidons. Oh, it won't let me just land here. That's kind of annoying. Well, that's sad. Can I land somewhere around here, though? No? Am I gonna land all the way back in town? That's kind of unfortunate, actually. The town is not that close to the other place. Out of curiosity, did equipment upgrade at all? Or is it still terrible? Oh, uh, looks like the equipment upgraded. So I could get stuff now if I want to. I think defense rings are the helmets equivalency that I've been ignoring for a while.
I still don't think I'm interested in the other accessories. Mostly just want to make sure our armor keeps pace. And even then, I don't think I super need to care about this. This might be the last time I upgrade equipment before, like, literally the end of the game. I don't know if any of these give me additional resistances. Though, so without that knowledge, I'm not as excited to make those upgrade choices. But I think for now, let's go ahead and equip the new armor. So I could at least make walking around a bit less tedious. So yeah, no additional magic defense comparatively. Which again, are stats I can't really see without editing. Our equipment here. Holy, the lag. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What is this lag? Game, please. Do you hear me pressing this? Holy. I could have I could have died before that registered my input. Oh, come on. Don't do this now. That was crazy, chat. That was crazy. That was like nine seconds of no inputs. We are absolutely going to talk about this when we go to review the game and our final thoughts. That is not acceptable. Okay, so I think with our ability to revive ourselves, the only thing we need to do is just make sure we never get one shot. And we have a character with a lot of HP, so it's possible that Durin can survive everything. See, I'm gonna buy more Stardust Herbs. That's kind of my safety precaution. Because I think otherwise our healing is really strong right now. It's just more of question of... Actually, you know what? I'm gonna buy extra more than I need, that way I don't have to come back here again. So we're gonna purchase down to like 10,300-ish. That way I never have to come back here for items ever again. I doubt I'll need this many, but the, the thought process of never needing to come back is rather appealing. Actually, I'll keep it at this amount. That's probably fine. Get a couple more revives. Okay. So now I should not need to ever come back to an item store. Feel pretty sufficiently equipped, unless something hilariously terrible happens. Uh, Let's save the game here. So yeah, this is just going to make casual movement a little more safe. Also, I definitely do not want to fight the uh, enemy during their own element. That's the only other thing I want to do, since that will improve boss damage against us. Like, if it's a fire enemy and they have fire spells, I'm just making the game harder for myself for no reason. Well, speaking of which, I should be playing as Charlotte. Oh my gosh, Charlotte's actually able to do damage. What madness. Alright, okay, so they're taking basically minimal damage, which I was looking to do from a convenience standpoint. Not that, like, I need it to win. So if I don't upgrade equipment for at least five or six bosses, I'll say maybe it was worth it. Okay, from what I remember, we have to kind of go bottom left, I think, to get the Fiery Gorge. No, I went to bottom left. It's kind of one of those things, I just kind of assumed that it would let me just land there, so I wasn't really memorizing the path to get here. Unfortunate, really. Hmm. This might be what I'm looking for.
Aw, oh, they have indeed leveled up, so that's a good sign. <laughs> wow, they're five levels above us. Madness. Oh, oops. <laughs> I didn't realize I actually built up enough to use the special attack there. I guess that works. Once he kills this... I guess this should be fun. I am curious if anything drops. Nope. So we're just gonna keep on going. Hmm. Nothing here. So originally I believe this path might have been blocked off. And apparently it just leads to us getting trapped now. Cute. Because I remember there were a couple places where it's like, the fire is too intense! Why are they focusing on the easier enemy? I'm gonna hopefully interrupt the enemy, whatever it's trying to do here with this. So not worth it. But hey, at least we got more armor, so I didn't need to panic heal. Okay, so there's another exit here. So I'm assuming we have to go this way to go to it. Just because it's a path we've never taken before. Oh, I don't want to deal with you. But there is a another doorway up there. Hmm. So we are literally just looking for the boss at this point to see if it's in another area or if it's back where the stone was. Strength up for the gladiator, sure. I guess that's worth it. I mean, this attack is always going to be relevant, I think. So it doing more damage is fine. The path is open. Enchantress leveled. Uh, spirit, please. I'd like to get stronger healing in general. Another bumpkin. I'm just gonna heal us real quick. Unfortunately, at least when we level here, our overall minimum healing will increase. So that's always nice. See, I don't think we've ever been this way before. Hopefully we'll see another safe statue and then the enemy, presumably. I gonna say, I'm assuming she's gonna level soon. Hmm. I guess I could give her stamina just to survive. <laughs> wow. That's cute. It interrupted my special attack. I'd like to get out of here. Oh, now we're just straight bullying. That's kind of nice. So at least now we're only allegedly four levels under level. That gives me more abilities to get by these enemies. Hopefully with more DPS. I'm gonna bully him real quick. Goodbye. Oh, well that, that's really overkill from our allies. We should be ultra dead here. And he still got an ability to hit us, because of course he did. That is so cheap. That is so cheap. I like the no counter play abilities. Literally kill him, still casts. What a monster. Okay, so I would like to make some progress here. Our allies happen to get kills on the way in, I don't really care. I mean, I guess it's possible they'll get another kill. Ooh, evil ninja. I don't want anything to do with that. Zanvai, the Benevidon attacks. Well, I found the Benevidon. I would have loved to have saved before this happened, but I guess we're here now. 
After I'm gonna strength up afterwards. I'm gonna use I think it's your abilities, right? So we're in the fire area, so Ice Saber should be very effective here. So him having elemental weakness would be huge for our DPS. Let's just spend some time buffing. Because, I mean, this is literally the only purpose of his MP, and this is the only purpose for Leto's MP. I might as well just commit. Uh, I'll even buff my own strength here. I don't think it really matters. So we're just going to take the enhanced strength bonus for all the characters. Also, I love her casting animation is so much faster than Durin's for some reason. So he should keep his elemental bonus. And now... I guess since I have nothing better to do, I could also just buff our ice damage on her, because why not? I gotta wait anyway. Alright, so let's be really aggressive here. <laughs> immediately get nuked. Cool. Well, this is why we have healing. So assuming I just wait until it becomes targetable. So I can mostly undo the damage in one heal, which is nice. Oh, they're doing big damage. Oh, there's the big damage. Come on, allies. And of course, the guy with the most damage is not attacking at all. Thank you, game. Love it. Oh, I can hit them when, he, when it's in this form. Huh. Interesting. I didn't think it would be targetable when it's like that. Thank you, AI, for teaching me not to wait. So yeah, we're doing 300 plus damage due to having elemental weakness. Oh, they're going in, chat. Please let me heal. So this is feeling pretty much like GG. We are hard abusing this enemy. Oh, I think he interrupted my special there. <laughs> she still went in though. You're strength upping yourself? I don't think that's gonna help you. So we're doing an insane amount of damage. The back-to-back -back special arts? Jeez. I think it died. I mean, that, that just straight up, listen, that straight up felt like I just bullied him. I felt like I struggled more with the ninjas than this boss fight. The ninja throwing shuriken and doing all the other BS? I'm more scared of that for sure. You won. You did it. The longer Benevanons are left alone, the more powerful they become. Think hard about where the other seven are. It really matters, but sure. Burning Sands. So then I guess we just fly away? There's nothing else to do, I suppose. Simple enough. So sadly, I think we'll have the ones with elemental weakness. I don't have the other element as my options, like light and dark. Kingdom of the Wind. I'm assuming the... Where was... I'm thinking about where the actual crystal was. Like, we can land in Loren. I guess we have to go down into the right a bit more. All those poor zombies.
So the later ones are definitely going to be very hard if I don't have the elemental weakness for them. But that's fine. As long as we have strength up, it shouldn't be too horrendous. So I just need to remember how to get to all these places, which is unfortunate. As I said before, I kind of thought with Flate we would be able to go straight to the dungeon. Because there is like the, the Gus way, which I could do. Another magic roll. I'm assuming that's where this one will take us if I go back and then go up and to the left. Which is a bit different than how it looked on the map, which has me a little confused, but that's fine. His enemies are just exploding near me. So I know the hideout was here. I'm just trying to think where Gust... Gust Way is. Hmm. This is kind of unfortunate, because I, I just genuinely don't remember. It's been too long. Hmm. Yeah, that didn't take me where I needed to go. Don't get any cutscenes for coming back here. So the secret hideout was below us. Where was it relative to Loren? I thought it was like in the upper left compared to the, the Wind Kingdom, which doesn't quite match where it was on the map, which is why I was confused. Okay, so we're not allowed to go back in there, despite the Bedevadons being there. At least I learned one thing. Not needed to come this way. enemies are not worth the time. I could, in theory, just item kill them if there's enough of them on screen. Because, I mean, the only other place would be to go up here, so where did I miss the other turn? Or was it, like, literally... Yeah. Oh, maybe it was, like, the... F oh, maybe it was the first cave that I passed on the while back. Have what I needed. That enemy real quick. Don't need to worry about you. Goodbye. Is this? Oh, interesting. Well, and I'm not Niccolo. My name's Josephine. Niccolo and I were together. Niccolo always wanted to join the Noble Thieves. Left for Navarro a while ago. I miss him. Since you're here, do Mew need anything? Might as well check out the shop. So yet another defense increase if I want it. Honestly, I don't think I care. What is the biggest upgrade for Durin? If it, like... War defense, seven defense. I don't really care. I'm at. Wait, there's another person here? Niccolo. No, but we're related. I'm Chiquita. It's Meow Nature as cat folk to travel and make ends meet peddling wares. I heard Niccolo wanted a different life and set out on his own. On his me own. Okay, are you just normal items? Oh, your weapons. Oh. See, that's more interesting to me. Damage is damage. <laughs> right chat like that like this would actually benefit me potentially. Oh my gosh, that was really expensive I did not look at the price before I purchased that That is unfortunate As I gave Charlotte the upgrade and not our spear user Really unfortunate See, it's going to be really hard to keep scaling up our weapons. I might have to hold off on all purchases for a while then. In which case, I definitely don't want armor. So sadly, I think I got trolled then because because I bought armor, I now can't afford weapons. Which is kind of not good for us. 
So I could purchase it on the way back if I want to. Why was it interrupting my attacks with dialogue there? Uh, we're back in Gus Hall. Ooh, they're already level 30. That's a pretty big level difference. So I could try to just get gold. I think it's worth killing these just for gold, not the XP. So I can afford at least the weapon on the way out, maybe, and then I just don't purchase anything for three or four dungeons. I mean, Sherlock can kind of do some damage, I suppose. Go this way, see what happens. I'm too scared to check my goal total. I'm just assuming each enemy is about 500. If I get more, I get more. The worst thing that happens is I get closer to another class change. That extra safety to beat the game. So I could potentially go over there if I wanted to. The question is, is the way to go literally the same as before? Can make some progress going this way. There's a door over there if I need to go to it. I'm assuming this is progress because it's like the most inconvenient way to go. And again, if we happen to level, we happen to level. Although once I'm done killing this enemy, I will very briefly check status because I, I just want to get a rough idea of how much I need to level. And if I happen to see my gold total at the same time, that's fine. 6,700. Yeah, they're not quite 500-ish. Like 400 or 300. So within three kills, I should level again if I really want to. I think over here should be the save point. So I'm going to save because I'm assuming that the boss is here. Like there's certain rooms I remember from revisiting at least. So I remembered not to just immediately take the first door I saw. But if the Benevidon's not here at the same time, it doesn't really matter. So I'm assuming we need to use uh, Earth against the Wind boss here. Oh no! Look to the sky! It must be a Benevidon! Oh, oh, you know what? I think there was a boss we fought on its back. Which is kind of weird because it's like, why did we come all this way? Look how far away we're flying to go catch it. What? Whatever. Dangard the Benevidon appears. So we need his buff ability. I have no idea how we saw it. I'm just I'm calling shenanigans for sure. So I'm assuming Earth is its weakness, so we're just gonna go ahead and apply it to needs a haircut first. Oh, I can't. I can't use the cast menu while somebody else is casting. That's kind of annoying, actually. Because I, I wanted to do this to speed things up a little bit. Game. Game controller. Behave yourself. So I'm almost done applying buffs, at least.
As I said before, as long as I just keep attacking, we should be doing massive damage here. Downside is when we have to fight the light and the dark creatures. I don't have the opposites for them. Uh, let's strength up on... Twinkle. Oh, okay. I was wondering why my special wasn't activating and I realized the game was targeting me with a spell. Cool. But anyway, Twinkle can actually do some damage now that we've buffed up. There we go. Wow, look at that delay. <laughs> that was like, that was like 10 seconds ago, chat. Holy, it was like another lifetime. Anyway, we'll heal ourselves real quick. We should be fine here. Please don't kill me because I'm waiting for healing. Wow, that is so lame. That is so lame. It killed me right as I was healing. That's so stupid. I couldn't even death cancel that because my other character was being knocked away. Stupid. Well, actually, maybe I could have. I could have done it maybe with my active character. I'll take that back. So sadly, this means lettuce damage is just going to be terrible for a little bit. I'm going to go for a preemptive heal here and hopefully it doesn't speed it up. So one thing I don't remember if I mentioned last time is that every time I pause the menu, it goes both ways. So if the boss is casting a spell right now, it could really hit me hard without getting an animation. Which is why I was hoping to do it before it stopped there, which we did. So seen a couple more hits. We went into the clouds. Oh, phase two, I guess. Wait, did you just unbuff me? Wow. Wow. It got rid of my buffs. That is stupid. That is actually so stupid. I'm shaking my head, chat. I'm shaking my head so hard right now. Wow, that is so lame. So as I mentioned before, I really think the saber should have lasted for a time limit versus an encounter. So that way stuff like this doesn't happen where I have to waste time rebuffing every single party member. Just because the screen transition happened. So yeah, we went from doing 1 damage to 90, by the way. That's how much of a difference this made. So it's definitely very important that we keep our buffs up, or else it's not even possible for me to do damage. Also, I just realized I made a huge mistake. I paused the menu there. I could be, like, super dead here. I'm just gonna immediately chocolate, because I think any casting animation here would be a huge mistake. I think he's about to cast another spell. I'm going to try mashing really hard to interrupt. And then she can buff my damage, I think. desperately just to heal. Why can I not select the other character? Hello? Come on, don't mess with me like this. I swear, if I get hit by a spell because the game was just like randomly attacking with her when I needed to heal, it's really gonna suck. 
Okay, I'm at least trying to give them at minimum strength bonuses. Okay, we should survive a hit here. I don't know if I put Stone Saber on everybody. I've kind of lost track because of the weird camera angle. I'm assuming with that damage, she at least has it. My damage looks a little low. I might not have Stone Sabered myself. But at the same time, I feel like the boss is almost dead. I'm not even sure if it's worth it. Never mind, that did an insane amount of damage. I like our allies are literally not even fighting the boss anymore, it's just me. Thanks, allies. Thanks for having my back. Appreciate it. Like, le they are legitimately not attacking. This is so sad. So again, it's kind of doing the rule of cool, where it's like, look at all this these fights on the back of the enemies. Meanwhile, I'm just thinking, wow, this is really irritating that none of my allies are doing anything. So I can only attack with one person, because their, their allies aren't worth buffing, apparently. Okay. I'm just going to heal spam again. That should be good here. So hopefully in the next couple of attacks, it should die. Hopefully. I'm hoping like maybe one more super art at most will kill it. Oh, I think it died actually. Never mind. Please don't be another phase. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why is this fight so long? Is this literally like twice as long as the other one? This is horrendous. Game, please. I mean, I'm gonna rebuff. You know what's really sad? His magic is so slow. I think it's not even worth learning elemental magic. It literally would have been better for me to just purchase the thing that enhances my weapons. I feel really sad stating it, but it's like, it's such a damn long animation. It's like six seconds in a boss fight where I don't get to do anything. I am thoroughly not impressed with magic in this game, for sure. Outside of exploits. Like, look at that. That's like... And also, we've we've had to do this so many times, I officially read it at MP, which is kind of sad. Buff needs a haircut. Try to do some damage. And again, it's more because the screen keeps transitioning that it's making me lose my buffs, which is so sad. Like, her strength up is fine. It's not like a huge time loss. His time loss is atrocious. It's like literally three times longer. It's like trying to get a Humar to cast Tex instead of a Force with Vito one. Just painful. I... I tried mashing menu there, but I think because the boss was casting a spell, it stopped me from casting a spell. So we're going to strength up Twinkle on the off chance that she can do damage through this. And I'll have her heal afterwards. Because at least then if she does a super attack, maybe it'll do damage. Oh, cool. He interrupted my heal by casting while I was casting. I'm going to mash menu here and hopefully not die. Literally everybody died. Um, can I bring back Lenneth first? Okay, I canceled her death. And I bring back Twinkle before she dies with the chocolate. Okay, nice death cancel. Can you please finish your spell? Thank you. That should heal everybody else. So she should not die here because I healed her before she died. So hopefully we don't lose our buffs. I'm not gonna lie, how much HP does this thing have? I'm getting really worried that this fight is still happening. Oh, come on, another transition? You've gotta be kidding me. Chat, this is this is not okay. I I have so many questions right now. How is this fight not over? I'm using weapon weakness and I have the strongest weapon possible. 
Unreal. How is this fight still happening? Well, I'm glad I have more MP on one of our characters, I guess. Okay, so I did miss Stone Saber the previous time, because I'm doing the same damage as before. Because this is the this is the room where they just don't do any damage, so there's not much I could do about this. Yeah, this sh this really highlights the big problem with this game. Bosses are way too tanky. And then like look at this. I'm getting screen screen transition nonsense. Please die. Like I'm hitting for a rather significant amount of damage. I think chat would agree. I'm doing on average at least 3,000 or more per screen transition. And every time I build up a super attack, it means I've hit it for at least at least 800. And then the special attack does 300, just to give you a concept of how much we're doing. And she died because the game didn't activate the menu because he was in a spell. That stopped me from healing, which is really annoying. Man, I swear, if I die, I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> like, this fight took forever. Please heal. Oh, our AI friend realized they could strike. Nice, cool. Thanks. Oh, I couldn't... I keep forgetting. It won't let me do special attacks while the boss is uh, using a spell. I don't know what the game wants from me at this point. I'm getting very concerned. I might actually have to use walnuts. Yeah. I'll check the I'll check the black market when we go to fight things that are the light and the dark, because maybe I could do that for enemy weakness. I'm doing so much damage, just die already. Oh, he interrupted my special. That's unfortunate. Please out heal. Please out heal. I mean, I think chat can agree. Like, outside of having a debuff, I have pretty much everything needed to beat this boss. Welcome, Kirk. This boss fight is taking way too long. I really don't understand why this boss is so much harder to kill than the other one. Like, I know they get stronger, but this is ridiculous. Oh, thank you. <laughs> what was that, four screen transitions? Jeez. I swear, chat, that boss must have had 10,000 or more HP by a long shot. By, like, a long shot. Because on one of the screens, I was doing, what, 200 a strike and 500 on the special art? And I hit over 14 times? Not to mention the allies were actually able to damage. Only six left. Let's hurry. I hate you, fairy. Oh, and then you boot me out here so I don't get to go back to the other place to shop. Cool. Love it. My favorite. Definitely my favorite. Shimmering Ruins. Alright, let's, let's not do that for a little bit. Can we get some, like... Where, where are they at? Can I land here, please? Thank you. Yeah, that boss fight took, like, an eternity. Oh, wait. I don't want to go to Moonlight Town. I want to go to, uh... Sorry, I thought that was the black market. Yeah, let's see if we can find something that can do elemental sabers, because I am thoroughly not impressed with uh, the ability to cast on this character. It is so damn slow. Like, I feel like me shopping for this is still more efficient than using his magic. Like, I feel like we lost that many seconds per spell cast. 
Hmm. Do you have what I need now that we've killed a few Benevidons? Ooh, we didn't get new abilities. Ugh. This is not going to help me. Unless there's some in the other place. Yeah, it's it's so slow, Kirk, and because he's our main DPS, him not attacking is literally just thousands of damage we lose. Oh. Can I really not get lightsaber or darksaber? That's kind of a problem. Hmm. So, so far the shops didn't upgrade, which is a little surprising to me, given that everything else did, unless you sell something now. No. Super disappointing. Uh, I don't know if this is worth it. I mean, I already did Salamando. I don't need to worry about that. I didn't go to the ice place yet. In theory, I could buy a few of these. I don't need all my healing items at once, and in case there's a stupid screen transition, I'm gonna buy more. We haven't done... we did the Earth fight that would have needed it. We didn't do Sylphid. I have an honest question. What is the opposite of lightning in this game? <laughs> like, I'm thinking about it. Like, you know, Salamando and Undine are opposites. Gnome and... Uh, I guess if Sylphid is, counts as wind, maybe that's fine. Maybe we need the Thunder Weapon for the Earth area. I was just trying to think, like, what damage type it was. Maybe this is fine. So, I still don't know what the opposite of Dryad is. Let me think about it. Because, I mean, there's shade for dark. Is it Lumina or Luna that is the opposite of dark? I'm guessing Luna. I don't remember. Well, that'll be a fun experience for me later. Because honestly, I feel like the moon magic and light magic are very similar. That's fun. We'll figure it out eventually. So, I think I saved, right? I definitely want to save. I didn't earn any new seeds, right? Yeah, I did. We're doing another safety save, so that way I don't have to repurchase anything. So we're at Gnome Day, so I definitely don't want to do any Earth Magic if I can avoid it. I'm not sure if that would be beneficial for me to swap into the Saber of the opposite type that I'm looking to fight. I know Offensive Magic would be impacted, I don't know if Support Magic is if impacted. Okay, so we killed the bottom two. I guess I could just do this one just because. We never found the Shade Stone, quote unquote. So I don't know what the enemy weakness is here at all. In fact, I feel like we haven't been here before. Cool, enemies I can't see, love it. My favorite. It's my favorite type of enemy, right chat? Off-screen enemies. Where's our party? Damn, that thing was unkillable. Strength is maxed. Do I even care about spirit with how bad his spells are? A level it for now, but I'm getting stamina next time for sure. Strength up, please. We actually do need this. Yeah, we're getting last second damage boosts. Chantress also will get some spirit. She can. Let's give her strength bonus. We need her to start doing more damage, Dad. I don't know how else to put it. Just any damage is fine. Ooh, hit right in between them. 
So most of our HP is at least above 350, so I think I'm avoiding getting one shot for the most part. Since I have at least been putting points in stamina every now and then, I don't feel like I'm super weak. Yeah, I don't think we've been to this dungeon before. Like, I flew to it and visited it before it was a thing. Well, that was a nice kill. Oops. I mean, I'll quick save, but that's not what I wanted to do. Goodbye, enemy. I should kill him. 418 experience. Out of curiosity, how much do we need to level after we just leveled? 5400. So, like, that's like a reasonable amount of kills. Right, chat? 12 kills to level is really not that bad. In the grand scheme of things. So this is probably the most reasonable levels we've had, but also I'm like seven levels under level. <laughs> right, chat? Like, it's, it's technically reasonable with that much XP. Just do this real quick. Oh, you interrupted my special. And I got Moogled. But then my special attack came out anyway. So I guess I win. At least the game remembered that's what I wanted to do. Yeah, so we're just kind of looking around. We might level incidentally. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a Charlotte just to encourage our allies to go crazy. So I thought this, the crystal was in like kind of a side area like this, according to what we saw in the cutscene earlier. Hopefully you're doing well, Kirk. <clears throat> Decrease max HP. Wow, that sucks. Did you silence me? You did silence me. Wow, this is a whole room of stuff I don't want to deal with. Right, chat? That, that was a whole lot of nope. I don't want to deal with that. Well, this area officially sucks. I'm gonna try to get some kills here. Since, as I said before, we don't need that many kills to level. Since we're so hilariously underleveled. Hope I'm doing okay. Uh, I guess things are okay. Work was kind of stressful today, but I think otherwise. Game is mostly going fine. That last boss was pretty bad, though. I felt like I was being held hostage, like Terranigma boss. Where it just never ended. So if I kill these, this will be about 800 experience. After that, I can look to see if there's any more weapon upgrades from one of the random towns. Why do I keep missing him, please? Yeah, unfortunately, Lenneth's weapon is now behind, and I would like to fix that at some point. Although this alone might be enough to kill. So I have walnuts in case I need to keep heal spamming in between areas, but I think right now magic is not super useful to use in boss fights, sadly. We lack kind of like the elemental weaknesses. If we were playing uh, Angela, for example, I would probably be using walnuts a lot more. But right now we mostly just have support skills. I'm doing this just to stun the enemy. Oh yeah, it's ultra dead. So like this by itself was... Uh... Oh, game. Don't do that, please. Weird. But anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and kill more things on our way to the wherever we need- Oh, not these things, though. No way, I don't want to see leveled up version of that enemy type. Wait, so... Where- wait, where do we have to go? Is there another path down here? Okay, there is. Interesting. Hmm. It's kind of like little pedestals up there, but I'm assuming I can't do anything with them. Decrease my max HP, that kind of sucks. I want to read what's there, but I don't think I can until they're dead. I'm just gonna heal ourselves real quick. 
so we may or may not level again. I don't super care if I do. I just want to see what that little poster says in case there's a puzzle here. Since this is the first time we've been here. Cool. It moogled me as it died. Two stones on the wall. Left is right, right is the end is cut off. Okay, let me make a note of this. Left, two stones. Left. Oh, is light, not right. That would mean maybe right is dark. But I don't know what that really means at the moment. We'll just take note of it. Lots of oils. Hmm. I didn't think we were gonna go puzzle mode, but maybe we are. I did see the two pedestals. I got max HP decreased, which makes this dungeon way more annoying than it should be. Thanks, game. Love it. Love being decreased HP. Hopefully that's not relevant. Oh, what'd I find here? Honey elixir? But I can't use it because I'm already maxed. Oh, that was not worth it. I mean, it's better than candy. I'll give him that. It, it's not the worst treasure chest we found, but I don't think it's useful. If that had been fairy walnut, that would have been a different story. Then I could have used it immediately. Getting hit by the HP down full screen. Love it. So I can't seem to get into that little area down there to the left. So I must be doing something wrong. I can bully the enemy a little bit here. We can't be that far away from leveling. Like, less than half of the XP we need to go, I think. Another launch seed, whatever that is. Right, chat? What was, what was the point of this area? So I got a puzzle hint for something. I'm gonna be HP downed again, which means they always do guaranteed minimum damage to me, which really sucks. What will you do? Okay, maybe now that I've read the hint, maybe I can apply the elements here in advance. Sounds like water is flowing somewhere. Let me use light. Any other one? There we go. I mean, I guess that works. I was thinking literal stones, but I gotta remember. This isn't like Grand Stream where I'm looking for objects. So I can go down here now. But I don't know what that did for me, if anything. So this is the area I was at before. So I've made a big circle. Just FYI, I, I haven't made progress. So we need to figure out what flooding did. Since this area was already flooded, from what I recall. I'm gonna- I might as well fight these. Bully them real quick. Nice multi-hit there, that should kill the one on the upper left. And that will kill all of them for sure. Okay, so I feel like we're within less than 2,000 a level. Since we killed at least four or five of those, and then six other enemies. Cool, got HP down. I never went down from here. Maybe there's something I have to do here. So it puts us here. Wait, but there's no... What was... What was the point of this area? There's just a little loop and then nothing. This dungeon sucks, chat. 
There's not even like an item. Like there is there is no point to coming out here. Thanks. Anyway, we'll go this way again, I guess. We went to the left here, but nothing happened. Did something change in this area? No. Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. Where can we go differently now that the water moved? So this is the main room we were at before. Cool, love being hit and bullied instead of being able to run, love it. We're now back in the central area. I'm gonna try to heal while I can. Because even though if they max HP me down, it means I don't heal as much, but at least I don't get one shot trying to get past them. Speaking of which, it just immediately got punished. So it's very likely if I get the kills here, I will be leveling. I'm just gonna kill them at this point. Well, that's a great multi-hit. Bully him harder. I got silenced, which is unfortunate. So I did level again. Level spirit. So stronger healing. Gladiator got more strength right before the boss. So I think we can all agree that's probably good. So once this thing dies, I think our other character will level. Are we ever going to get unmoogled? Can't cast any spells. It does end at some point, right? Okay, so we're just going to move on. <laughs> just... Right, chat? Just like, okay, I mean, if it's not going to do anything. So we got a little more safety max HP for later, I guess. So there's some doors down there. I never went up there where it looks like there's stairs. But so far, I'm still not seeing what I opened up. Welcome, Burton. Hope you're doing well. Hmm. So it just leads me back to this room, which is horrendous. Was there... When I opened the shortcut, was there another place before the main area that I forgot about? I guess we'll check real quick. See, I thought the Mana Stone was to the left, but it's possible it's not where the boss fight is, I suppose. So, like, if I go down from here instead of going back in, was there something else that opened? No. Hmm. Chat, a mystery. Did I do something wrong? I'm not seeing... At least I didn't see anything that was obvious in terms of where I had to go. So let me think a little bit. So it said water was rising. There's only one room that had water in it, but then there was nothing to really do there. So it's like, where is our goal is the question. Hmm... Is it possible I missed something in the middle somewhere? I'm just trying to think, like, what, what that would have done. I can retry the puzzle one more time, just in case. So it won't let me do it. Hmm. See, there's kind of like a flooded area in the middle, but... The oh, I took a million... Whoa, I'm taking a million damage. Uh, we need to get out of here immediately. Next area, next area, next area, next area. It's like I can sort of see like a path I might be able to go to, but it's like I don't know how to get to it. Yeah, I just took like 300 damage in like this fan of two seconds. So it was kind of insane. All right, so we're going to reset the room again, now that I've healed. Is there something up here I could have done differently? Like, I, I, I'm running out of ideas of what to do. Like, I see there's kind of like a down, 
like see that lower area we're seeing here i don't know how to get to this it looks flooded see like it's it's almost like i should have been able to go there so we're kind of stuck between really awful encounters because it's nighttime now kind of unfortunate let's clear the room and then let's have a think Please heal me. <laughs> oh, I mashed that special button to dodge that attack. There we go. Get out of here. Nice. Exactly how I wanted that to time out. I should kill basically all of them. Oh, we actually leveled again. Oh, no, no. It's Valkyrie for the first time. Never mind. So we definitely need strength up for damage. So it's like... I don't know, chat. I, I feel actually at a complete loss. I don't know what the dungeon wants me to do. I don't even have like a remote clue what we did when we raised the water because I didn't see another way to go. There is only one room that had water, but I it didn't let me just walk around in it either. So that's why I feel kind of confused. Hmm. I think also technically each of these dungeons has like the class change seed. I could technically look for it. I guess I wasn't thinking about that coming into here. So maybe at the end we'll try to look for the seeds, but so far I haven't come across any. So is there something over here that we could have done that I didn't see before? No. So I think that's where the Man of Stone was. So where is the boss, is the question. Oh. Maybe it's just something stupid, like I just have to hold up on one of these things and it'll take me where I need to go. I just didn't see it before. Like, this is the area that was flooded, but that hasn't really changed at all. See, I can't, like, go into the water deeper here. Try going this way, maybe? Just trying to think of like where we could end up differently. Okay, I think now we're where we need to go, perhaps. Okay, this is looking promising because I don't think I've been this way before. Hmm. Although, actually, you know what? I think the Mana Seeds being in chests, I think that's a 3D version. I'm sorry, I'm confusing my versions. I think I still need to randomly get the, the seeds. Whereas, I think in the 3D version, the remake, they put them in treasure chests, which makes a lot more sense. You cast ice up on yourself. Yeah, let's just kill both of these. No mercy, chat. I don't want to see them do anything. That sound effect, though, is it waiting for me. Stop that. Okay. So out of curiosity, we'll check one more time. Roughly how much do we need to level? I don't plan on leveling again, I'm just curious. Wow, almost 8,000. So that, rough, that became pretty much not worth it to me again. So I need 20-something kills to level on the best XP here, which is not worth it. But hey, we found the healing statue, so this is promising. So we have more total MP to deal with the boss. That took us almost a half hour to figure out. Oh well. So we did all this for the healing statue, but where is progress? Was there another path over here? Oh, there's another door. Okay, that makes sense. Wait, are you telling me I could have actually just gone straight to the boss and missed the healing statue? That's horrendous. Wow, that is actually horrendous, chat. Because that took forever to get here. Light Gazer, the Benevidon has appeared. Kind of reminds me of Krako. It's like if Krako's having an off day and doesn't want to have a giant cloud around it. That's what it kind of reminds me of.
So again, we'll do the bare minimum of at least strengthening ourselves up. And I think what we could do... Oh, she's out of range. Oh, that's stupid. I, I don't think that should be a thing, to be honest with you. We're gonna do this. We're gonna have both of them heal and buff. I'm just gonna do some damage, hopefully. Because at least then, even our spellcaster could do some damage. Now, question. When it's jumping in the air and obviously not casting a spell, can I abuse it with some magic here? I can't. Are we gonna have to jump up clouds? Maybe. So she did, uh, did that to dodge the knockback. That did no damage. Okay, that's not worth doing. Well, at least we got one extra point of strength. Hopefully this thing does not have 12,000 HP or whatever the heck the other boss had, or else this could be a while. We have all the healing in the world, so right now it's just kind of a who can out tank who fight. The damage was okay against us, could have been worse. And again, since she leveled Spirit, we basically undo about two attacks worth of damage every heal. Unless it does a spell. Our allies not fighting this is so frustrating, chat. I don't know how to get them to actually attack in a reasonable manner. They're like sometimes attacking. The problem is like they're not able to predict where the boss is going. So we're just kind of waiting. Let me do this to do more damage here. And again, thankfully, we, we at least have strength ups. So we're getting one of the more annoying bosses out of the way, maybe. Because we don't have its elemental weakness. Well, there we go. Big damage. Allies are actually contributing. Love to see it. Yeah, but this boss is definitely much easier than the other one. Though I still gotta be careful. I could get one shot randomly. Uh, that barely injured us. I mean, honestly, like, this boss difficulty is so much lower than the other one. Can we all agree? Like, it's only doing 100 to me with a spell or 150. Like, okay. Compared to, like, the 300 BS we were fighting earlier. Uh, let me just do this real quick. I feel like we're probably in phase two of the boss, at least. So we're doing some damage. Nice. The strength up actually mattering. 192 damage is not insignificant. That's actually pretty good damage for our allies. So really happy we got some last second strength ups. Although at this point, they're not going to be helping too much. Wait, did you just buff us? Oh, you buffed us to heal. Oh, that's really trolly. Oh, that is trolly. Oh, and I got Moogled. That's unfortunate. That's kind of annoying. I'm gonna use her to save on my healing here. Or not. You gonna let me use my other character? No? There we go. <laughs> So the boss actually used Saber so that I can't hurt it anymore. So if I had fought this boss without Elemental Sabers, I actually would have been in basically GG territory. That's kind of sad. Also, I love myself swinging rapidly, just miss, 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 miss. Thanks, game. Appreciate it. So I'm going to have the other character queue up a heal, and then what I'm going to do is... Unfortunately, I'm going to have to undo my own buff. So as I mentioned before, there's a bug with the how the stats work. So essentially, like when I apply this damage bonus to the other character, it's going to get rid of strength up because this overrides it with a weaker bonus. But I need her to not heal the boss for the obvious reasons of, you know, not wanting to be here for an eternity. 
Let's do that. Now we should be good. At least you have items that function as savers, kind of. Goodwill is a very strong word to describe what is happening here, Calvisham. <sighs> Speaking of which... Can I just hit you while you're in this animation? Curiosity. Save me some time. Oh, I can. Is it really healing itself? Is this happening? Well, it's only 321 at least. I can live with that. Oh no, it's in heal spam mode? That's not good. Yeah, we're racking up some damage at least. Every swing for us is at least... Every two swings is about how much it heals. So that's not too hard to make up. Go ahead and get a safety heal going here. I'm gonna cancel her animation by doing this, hopefully. So I imagine it's very low on health. If it healed itself, it must be extremely low. Because it didn't do that for an eternity, essentially. You decrease my attack power. Okay, well, I have strength ups. Or the game will not let me cast heal. Or strength up, I mean. Thank you. So doing 92, but we could do more. Imagine maybe, like, one or two more special attacks will kill this thing outright. I got two extra stabs. And it died. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Nope. Oh, it had it. It had a double explosion, the fake out. Well, let's never come back here ever again. <laughs> right, chat? No thanks. Here are my notes, since we solved the puzzle. Only five left! Don't stop now! It just deposits us here. Sorry, escape rope. You were not that useful. I guess next time I'm fighting those stupid healer enemies, I should probably use my AoE damage. So we killed three of them. I wanted to keep it vaguely in order. So there's the tower. Presumably I have to go back to the tower. Can I land here and potentially get a weapon upgrade or something first? I would be most interested in that before anything else. Also, I would like to save the game, if nothing else. Oh, I feel like you're the armor person. I feel like I made a mistake. Alright, so your weapon didn't increase. That's fun. Don't care about armor. Let's get weapons. If there's any new ones here. What? What? No, I did not talk to the one on the right. Excuse me, Trials. Trials, listen. If you draw a line between them, I am not talking to the person on the right. Excuse me. Nonsense. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? How? What? What? What is that merchant hitbox? Excuse me. Excuse me, chat. No, 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 no. Excuse me. No, 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 no. That's not okay. Why did I have to come all the way over here to talk to him? That is ridiculous. Tell that other merchant to mind his own business. 
Okay, we got a weapon upgrade, so she can at least do a little more. Her damage was still fine, don't get me wrong, but, you know, might as well slightly optimize it. I can't believe how far that hit detection was on that conversation. That was insane. Alright, so 16 more base damage is good. Since I believe strength up affects all of our damage in general, so that's potentially like another 20 something per hit. He's like, <laughs> he's like, you will, you will get more armor. Right, we have launch seeds. Got another bumpkin. Which again, if I see a very annoying enemy type, I think I'm going to be spamming it in this area in particular. I don't know if I super care about leveling up again. Because sadly, I think a big downside of this game in comparison to like Secrets of Mile, uh, Mana or even uh, Adventures of Mana, level ups are just kind of bad. Like think about it when you compare to like how much more damage I get in like a Secret of Mana level up or like how impactful like two pal one stamina, one will, etc. goes to our stats. Like, level ups here barely do anything. They give us like 8 or 10 HP unless we put stamina in, and then maybe not even damage. So, like, level ups also super don't matter in this game, it feels like. Except to specifically class upgrade. Then it matters. And that's more for the abilities than the raw stats. What the? Why did I hear running sound effects when I did that? Can I just go straight here, or are you gonna make me go through the whole forest? You're gonna make me go through the whole damn forest? Uh, I mean, maybe I could do it from Ferolia upwards. Maybe this would be faster. Let's see if it's faster. So we know if we go up and then left, we should end up where we need to go. since we went here before. Oh, the, the werewolves didn't level up at all. That's interesting. I feel like I'm doing reasonable damage to this area now. Oh, we only took one damage there. Nice. Yeah, we never really did very much in the tower. I wonder if it's going to turn into a proper dungeon or not. Oh, I went up too quickly. Punished for not knowing the route. Yeah, we're doing easily double damage compared to where we were before. So I'm kind of okay with that. Got our Stardust are back, so I didn't need to use the shop. Nice, love it. So yeah, the fact that even Carly at this point is able to do damage slash uh, Twinkle should be good. I think this was it. I hope this wasn't the other dead end. Okay, now let's go up into the left. We should be about where we need to go. Yeah, we're only taking one damage instead of 100. Remember the first time we came here, how insane the damage was? I believe we just have to go this way, and we should be really close to where we need to go. So I'll let them fight if they want to. It's free XP. But at the moment, I have no intention of uh, class ranking up, if chat is curious. I don't think I'm going to hit the right level before then. Oh, new characters here. Welcome. They don't even bother introducing them. So yeah, these are the same weapons I got earlier. Okay, so I didn't have to technically stop at the other town. I mean, I guess it's kind of nice of them to upgrade the dungeon slightly, so that way you end up with, you know ways to get equipment conveniently, despite it being a backtrack. I'm not gonna talk to her. I don't care if it's armor items, I don't need either. So now we're back where we needed to go. That wasn't too bad. So this is where we the moon crystal before so I, this is another place i don't have an elemental up to deal with this area oh 
Oh no, a super wolf? Oh, we're, we're, we're walking off of this screen, chat. Listen, I want nothing to do with the wolves in this game. They're horrendously OP. All right, we're gonna try to AOE heal so we don't die. So I'm only missing like one armor upgrade and that's for like our, our armband, etc. It's not actually, we actually have our main armor defense at least. So you can see they're doing crazy damage to me. Unfortunately, Lenneth is out of range. Can't do anything about that. Let's just not fight these. The werewolves are just way too aggressive and powerful. Like that enemy type is more deadly than half of the bosses in the game. It's, it's kind of bonkers to me. They could be dealing like 200 plus damage and then cinematic like uppercut us out of existence. So I don't mind potentially killing Succubi, for example, comparatively. All right, so presumably we have to get a kill here to advance, which kind of sucks. So I'm just getting stun locked completely. I didn't get a single attack there because of their ability to strike twice. Can I do anything to interrupt this and kill them faster? Maybe I could do one of these things to hit them. Like, we definitely need that enemy specifically to stop attacking. So I'm just going to go again. Cool, he damage canceled his own damage. So he just ignored my knockup. That's what was supposed to happen before. There we go. So I'm going to be spending one MP to... Oh, no. Uh, is this a party wipe? I think it's a party wipe. Wow. 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 That is really unfair. That is really unfair. So anyway, chat, remember how I said he was more powerful than all the bosses we fought? I hope that was a uh, good example of why I didn't want to fight that enemy. Hope you all witnessed that. Thankfully, we saved somewhat recently. Holy. This enemy type is the worst. We we cannot put this dungeon off any longer. I probably should have come here first, not because of the boss, purely because of the werewolf. So they do 400 damage minimum, so actually it's not even possible for a healer to live this. That's kind of insane. Uh, I think we have to kill that to advance, because I didn't see anywhere else we could have gone. And I'm assuming I'm really not that close to leveling. Could be wrong, maybe I'm within like 2,000. Oh, I'm within 2,000, that's not too bad then. But unfortunately, the thing we're leveling on is Werewolf, which is <laughs> ultra deadly. So I'm just gonna not do anything here. It just does so much damage. I wish I could run so bad. <laughs> Get away from me. Oh, I'm, I'm super dead. I'm super dead. I just got cornered. You know what I have to do? I think I have to use throwing items here. I think there's no other alternative. I think I just need to spam it. Please let me get to the door. Please let me get to the door. Please let me get to the door. Come on. Come on. I just need to use the door. I don't want to fight these. They're too powerful. Holy, I'm getting stun locked. Get them off of me. Welcome to Fabled One. It's not going well. This enemy type is quite horrendous. Please go away. Oh, he just ignored... Of course he ignored taking damage. Why wouldn't he? This is so unfair. I couldn't do anything. I just died. Anyway, um... Guess we'll kill this enemy for levels. I'm only doing one damage to this. This is not good. Huh. How do I beat this chat? I have honest questions. Can I even revive the other character? I don't think I can because they're off screen. Uh, I could try to just give you fire damage if nothing else. Yeah, this feels really, really, really unbalanced. Like, this enemy type by itself is just insane. It should not be allowed to do 400 damage in an AoE after comboing for 50. Because even if I leveled three more times, it still would have one-shot me, just for clarity. Because its punches do over 100, so I, I would have to have at minimum, I think, 520 to survive its 1-2 super combo. 
which does not seem very likely. I would really like to not have to... F I'm almost completely dead because all of our allies just ran into that and I think I might have died again. Yeah, this is just really unfair. Did you see how fast I died? They took like 300 damage instantly. Kind of insane. So if at any point I cast a spell as the protagonist, I think I just die outright. There's nothing I could do. Please let me get by this enemy. Oh, we finally killed one of them. Holy, way overtuned. As a reminder, I have the best armor I can purchase. I just got one shot. So this enemy alone has consumed, I think, five of our revives. I think I have about 20 on me. But yeah, this is not good. Needless to say, not worth comes to mind. If I happen to die in game over, I don't care at this point. Because we've wasted so many resources just trying to get through literally one room. I would like to heal though. Yeah. This place is miserable. <laughs> I am not happy to say the least. Now you let me open the door. Thanks, game. Cool. So I think we have to fight them. So I'm just thinking, do I have enough throwables to stun lock them? Oh, oh, it was RNG. It was double werewolf. Screw you, Trials. <laughs> Seriously, I couldn't get this when I was first here. Whatever. I don't care about this room. I don't even know what that does. Increase my defense. Listen, it's it's not werewolf. I don't think I care. I'm shaking my head, chat. I'm shaking my head right now. Please heal yourself. Yeah, this room is way easier to defeat. So now I know, Chad, if we get another double werewolf, I'm just going to reset the room because I just think it's borderline unwinnable. Just from the fact that I could just get super attacked at any point and die. Oh, we level. Nice. Uh, Can't get anything in strength. I'm probably just going to point in stamina to maybe survive the werewolf. Enchantress leveled. Can I get spirit? Nope. Uh, Why don't you get stamina so you maybe survive the werewolf? Nope. Wait, what was the point of this room? Wait, was this an optional area? Seriously? I'm so disappointed right now, Chad. There's, I don't seem to be able to do anything in this room. Wow, that was super not worth it. There doesn't seem to be like a hidden door. That's what I'm looking for right now. So you're telling me I just fought all those enemies for no reason and lost all those cups of wishes? That really sucks. How many chocolates do I have left? Ooh, only three. So we did use like six back to back. Cups of wishes, how many do I have? Seven, that's not great. I will probably have to revisit the store then. I was expecting maybe one or two a dungeon, not literally six in one dungeon. Oh wait, there's more doors here. I did not realize there were more doors. Okay, that's good. It's not a total dead end. So that was an optional fight. I guess in a I guess in a way we did level, which will make it easier for us, I suppose. Now the question is, how awful is the boss here? Please be a save stage save statue. Thank you. <laughs> right, chat? How bad is this boss? Question mark. Climb further. Lots of extra stairs for dramatic effect. Presumably this should dump us at the boss fight. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh no. No, 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 no. <laughs> right, chat? No, no, no. Get away from me. I don't want to see you. I'm going to take this opportunity to hold left and hopefully outpace them. 
please use the door, please use the door. Or can I not use the door because they're we're in combat? Oh, that really sucks actually. I mean, I'm definitely gonna take advantage of throwables if I can. So if chat was wondering when I was gonna use them, here's my moment where I'm just like, get away from me. So again, we can kind of stun lock them with items. It doesn't do like a ton of damage. Did it miss? I think it did miss. That's kind of sad. Tell him to just get away from us. I don't care how much damage it does. Please heal. Alright, so I think we're out of the danger zone for the most part. Or, you know, it could just teleport off screen to hit us. That's totally fair. That was fair, right, Chad? Did you like him? Untargetable, flew on screen, one shot me. Doesn't elaborate. And died. I couldn't heal them in time. Wow. So bad. This enemy type is... Oh, I'm dead. Oh, no, you healed. I thought that was a super attack. Um... Wow. So this area used, I think, nine cups of wishes? I tried to damage cancel so we didn't have to cup of wishes that, but they were faster than me. And keep in mind, that was with me throwing like five throwables to damage them. They still one-shot me through all that, because of course they can for some reason. So I'm gonna do this to hopefully damage them a little more, so I have a vague chance of killing them. Healing, come on. <laughs> this is so horrendous. Why did they make this enemy chat? Why? I have so many questions. Just say we heal me. Please don't die, please don't die, please don't die. Yeah, we're gonna use our spin slash. I did try to weaken them up a lot with throwables, but I think they just healed all of it back. I hate this chat. I hate this so much. <laughs> Words could not understate how unfair this enemy is. <laughs> Come on! Stop! I think he just undid literally all the damage that we dealt to him. Oh my gosh, why? Please. I really hope in the remake they are not this unbalanced, because this is insane. I can't kill them. They're literally just alternating healing and one-shotting. So stupid I died again, even while trying to menu. I'm gonna run out a couple of wishes on this single fight, by the way. Man oh man, I would have loved to have an ability to silence the enemy. That would have been real good for me to have. I think I have one throwable that might do it, but I used it already like Harpy's Claw or something. Holy. Please just die. These two werewolves are the final boss. You can't tell me otherwise. <laughs> okay, I legitimately think they are taking longer to kill the, the Benevidons. This is insane. This is actually insane how unkillable they are right now. I can't do anything. I've used, I think, seven heals, three revives. They're officially stronger than every boss we've ever fought. Officially MVPs. I can't get by them. This is insane. I have the strongest possible weapon, To Reminder, I have the strongest possible weapon, and I cannot kill them. Holy. I should have done this one first. Oh, Strength Up finally one-shot them. Thank you, Strength Up. Holy. The... <laughs> the heal into the instant one shot. Wow. <laughs> that was so disrespectful. Did you like his literal invincibility into un un uncounterable deck? <laughs> Please don't die. Please candy revive so I don't need to use another couple wishes. Holy. <laughs> oh, I, I leveled again. 
I mean, it was a struggle, but we got there, I guess. Uh, please get more HP. Just in case I need to survive more of that. It's still going! Wait, he healed while dead? Wait, he canceled his death? The AI did death cancel? Are you serious? Come on! Just die already! Holy! This is unreal, chat. We are definitely complaining about this at the end of the game. He died. I got XP for killing him. He kill he healed his own death and kept fighting us. <laughs> the most unkillable enemy of all time. Oh my gosh. That was longer than the first Benevidon. Holy. How many resources do I have after that? That took so many. That was so unfair on so many levels. What was that BS? Well, I went from, I think, 12 spare Cups of Wishes down to three. We can regen our candy, which doesn't matter. I just use that for death canceling. And we're very low on chocolate. I think I need to get more. Damn, I didn't want to do item shopping, but uh, here we are, I guess. I still have a lot of full heals, I guess. What absolute insanity. That was another person controlling the wolf. I mean, that was insane, chat. I, I, I really want to go back. If somebody were to go and check how much raw damage I had to do to kill that, I felt like I did more than 5,000 damage. I, it, it healed more than six times, and it healed for, what was it, 270? Six times? Like, that was actually crazy how unfair that was. I'm so, I, I can't even go back and save our progress because it means I'd have to fight them again. Oh my gosh, I better one-shot this boss. I swear if I game over, I'll be like, it's over. Just end stream. <laughs> Just end stream chat. It's not happening. Holy. Wow, who would have thought the, the full heal before the boss is just not good enough? Oh, please don't be more werewolves, I beg of you. Please just go to the boss. I beg of you, please just be the boss. Why are there so many stairs? Are we in Final Fantasy VII or are we climbing the Shinra HQ? There's more werewolves, game please. No, 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 okay, hold on. We're treating them straight up as boss encounters at this point. I'm, I'm buffing up. Oh no, there's an, oh no. Oh no, that's gonna do so much. It literally one shot. It literally one shot. I'm spamming item, I'm spamming item. I'm spamming item. Please don't die. Oh! And she died anyway, because the game stopped me from using items, by the way. Because they were using a special attack, so it canceled the animation. Can I get a full heal so I don't need to use yet another cup of wishes, please? Please actually heal this time. Why is death canceling not working on this enemy? Is it possible some attacks can't be death canceled or something weird? If so, that makes them especially horrendous. I took over 400 damage instantly. I'm almost dead. I'm almost dead. I'd like to heal. Holy. I might have to actually genuinely leave the tower for the defense increase. How are there more enemies here? Did did they really think the enemy needed more of a, an advantage against me? Why can't I use healing? What's going on? Why are you... Please let me heal with the other character. Thank you. Okay, we killed one of the werewolves. If the other one ever super attacks, I think we also just kind of die outright. But at least I strength up myself. So maybe we'll get through his insane wall of HP. Okay, there we go. Strength up, let me get through. Oh my gosh. Please don't be the mimic. Succubi claw, that's fine. Holy. I love that I used like almost all my ice coins on the other encounter too. Please be the boss. <laughs> I'm begging you. Please don't put more werewolves here. I actually don't have enough items to do another one of those rooms. I'm actually not going to have enough revives. Is this is this going to be a save? Oh my god, how is there more? 
How? How is there more? Why is there more? There's a staircase downwards. I don't think I want to do that. Oh my gosh, why? <laughs> why? <laughs> no! No, not another one, please. Oh, at least there's only one on screen currently. Maybe we could deal with this. Oh, we blitzed him. Okay. All right, listen, I'm in full panic mode. Strength up, full heal. I, I do not want to be sent back to the beginning. I'm going to hope that we could kill this enemy. So it looked like he only had maybe about 800 HP. So the fact that he lasted for like eight minutes before shows you how absurd his healing was. Whatever, you can use your little haste effect. I don't really care. I'm just going to do this to you. So strength up on this character is absolutely vital. Curiosity, though. How much do we need to level, given that horrendous hallway? 8,000? Yeah, not worth it. I'm probably going to end the game around 32 or 33, if I had to guess, level-wise. Oh my god. What a, what a damn climb, chat. Holy. I earned my right for this boss. I absolutely earned it. Holy. Well, how hard is this boss going to be? It better not be another werewolf. Please don't be a werewolf. I don't remember what this is. I see the moon. Dolan the Benevidon attacks. I, I'm assuming I don't have what I need for it, so let's just buff up. We have an okay amount of healing still. I probably could have restocked my cup of wishes a little more. But sevens is still a pretty good number. I'm not feeling super scared at the moment. So I'm assuming it's going to be some kind of giant... I was going to say eight, but it could be like a spider thing climbing up the wall. Okay. Kind of like the aesthetic of them popping up over the wall, as long as I can target them. Alright, so he at least seems targetable most of the time, so that's already better than the other enemies. Um... Am I allowed to stack buffs? I think I ignored the change form because I was casting spells, which was interesting. Let's see how much damage this does. That's not worth it. I would like to state this boss is already 30,000 times easier than the werewolves. I'm barely needing to heal. Arguably, I don't even need to heal right now. The werewolf being able to 400 the entire party was kind of insane. I took literally zero damage there. That was kind of sad. And we're wailing on it. Okay, we took like 80 there. 321. We're doing more damage. So like 100 damage is about how much the werewolf was doing, but I honestly feel the werewolf was dealing damage faster. Like, I can actually react to what the boss is doing, technically. Werewolf was just like, perish. So I have a feeling we're going to one-try this. Would have preferred to have a debuff here, but whatever. I'm racking up some hits. Nice. So at least our allies are also able to participate in the fight. That's pretty big. So them doing 500 there saves us potentially a lot of time. So I got pig mead. Oh, I don't have the midge mallet on me. Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, let's just cure it. I think this is the first time Midge Mallet has been technically... It did something, maybe? Why am I not able to hurt the boss? Oh. Moon Spiral. Is it Hadokening me? I could not... 
revive fast enough. I think that was guaranteed kill. I need... I need to heal for sure here. I need her to potentially strength up the other character. I guess I unintentionally did the glitch there where I ignored the casting time. I guess technically I cheated in the boss fight. <laughs> As I said before, it's going to be really hard to not do that because I need to menu pretty often. Oh, I wanted to heal there. I got interrupted. That's unfortunate. It looks like it's about to do its super attack again. So what I'm going to do is heal my status ailment. Then I'm going to... Andy... No, I'm going to chocolate, actually. We're just going to straight chocolate. The... Uh, Needs a haircut. So sadly, I just don't think she has enough HP to survive. Oh, she didn't. He didn't do it. Oh. That's fine. I mean, if he doesn't do the attack, I'm also okay with this. So his, like, super blast is about on par with the werewolves we saw outside. But again, there's only one of him. So I'm not as worried. I'm gonna just candy Carly, because we've got nothing better to do. I don't think he's casting his spell. So it seems like the boss... Maybe the Hadouken was punishing me for using spells on the boss. I do know the game is supposed to react to you casting certain things on the enemy. So it is possible I could just, like, chain kill myself, for example. Use that to dodge the attack. Nice. All timed. Uh-oh. So it's using new spells, which is promising. So we're probably at least at the halfway point of the fight. We're racking up the damage pretty quickly here. Let me heal, let me heal, let me heal. Never mind. It buffered my attack since before the status ailments hit me. Okay, let's just get a quick heal here. I'm worried that I might cut the boss's animation down, but we'll see. Okay, good, I cast first. So I should survive this. Oh. Oh, it's dead already. Chad, I, I, I really want to go back in time. Twin werewolves versus the boss. I legitimately don't think this boss took as long as those two werewolves. They were the real boss. I'm pretty sure. Only four left. We're halfway there. Horrendous. <laughs> Absolutely horrendous. Get, get me out of here. Oh, I can't flammy here? Where can I flammy? Fine, you'll humor me. Are you actually items or are you armor? If you're armor, I don't care. It's a new equipment to sell. Have you knew of a peddler in Jungle of Visions, Wetsabuka Island? Here the best equipment is in that city. Heard of Peta and Jungle of Visions. Wetsabuka Island. I think we were there before. But it's a strange place. Wanna take a look? Oh, so there is actually another upgrade? I mean I guess I'm glad I talked to you. Ooh, that would have been a lot of defense. I don't know if that would have super mattered. I mean, I guess maybe if we were wearing the best possible armor, we wouldn't have been one shot, but we would have still been reduced to like 380 or by 380. So I think Carly still would have died. So the weapons improve. Actually, you know what it is? I think because we killed the boss and upgraded. Never mind. I, I don't think we could have purchased these before then. So that is really expensive. So what I'm going to try to do. It said Biuka Island West Jungle of Visions. I don't have a lot of money, but if we could purchase like a super weapon for Durin specifically, I think we should be fine. Also, we can't use Flammy Drum at all here. That's so sad. So at least we should be able to afford two weapons. So if, if we don't care about Twinkle's weapon for a little bit, 
she might be fine. And then I would like to get maybe another armor upgrade at some point. So killing these enemies at least should give us some gold. And I don't think we need that much in order to afford a, a, a 40 defense increase. Which, as we saw, potentially would help. But I think we're past the hardest dungeon, to be honest with you. Werewolves were just BS. I don't think enemy I don't think any enemy type is on on par with the werewolves with their full screen 400 damage BS. So sadly, I don't think it's useful here. Oh. Wait, was it down or left? Hopefully it was left. No in a moment if I went the wrong way. So we're getting little bits of spare cash here and there to maybe afford an armor upgrade or something. Like, right now we're taking literally one damage, so at least the armor is paying for itself right now. So we should be pretty close, then, to the other place. So keep in mind, I had about 40,000, so we'll see how much money I got from killing these things on the way to the next area. And who knows, maybe we'll hit level 28. <laughs> but yeah, we're averaging a little under a level per dungeon, so... Well, as I said before, we're probably going to end around 32, 33. Maybe. Because I was expecting eight levels, more or less one per dungeon. I love how you just hear them running randomly every now and then. I said west of Beluka Island. So this is Beluka Island, I thought. Does it mean this area? No. Do you mean... Do you mean, like, this area? There's Mirage Palace. What is this place considered? Are you gonna tell me, or no? No? I'm assuming this is the place it's talking about. Yeah, this is the Jungle of Visions. I was here before, but I couldn't do anything. So I stepped in the hut before and nothing happened. Will something happen this time? So I can make progress? Because before I did this, I didn't open up like a new path or anything. Ah, oh, there's people here now. That guy was not here before. Ancient capital of Peta, but it was destroyed in the war against the Dragon Lord ten years ago. And they sold high quality equipment there. Scholars say that Mana can distort time and space. This place was connected to the past, but when the Mana Stones disappeared, it vanished too. How can we find it? Benevolence caused a time and space distortion. They may be able to get there after defeating some of them. Oh. Oh, so the game told me to come here, but then the game is like, Teehee, you can't get here yet. Cool, thanks. I don't even know why you told me about this place if I can't do anything here. Right, chat? Why even bother telling me about this if I can't do anything? Anyway, I guess we'll go this way. So we have the elemental weakness for this area if I need it. Actually, what I should really do, I should restock before we go further. where the equipment was in this place. So just verifying, all the shops have upgraded, right? No. So only some of the shops upgrade? Did they not think I would come back to Volsina or something? Huh. That's awkward. I wonder if they forgot, because some of the other places upgraded automatically. It's kind of a big oops. <laughs> that was selling the stuff from the beginning of the game. Like, I don't really want an 80 def defense armor at this point, for example. Yeah, I genuinely think they forgot to upgrade it, given that the other places did upgrade. Okay, so we got about 6,000 killing those werewolves, which is good because I'm going to need to buy a lot of chocolates and cups of wishes. 
So we basically paid for our items, so that was kind of worth it. Again, we're going to take a lot of safety heals. So I do not want to be caught in, like, the final dungeon area without some stuff. We're going to keep going, chat. And to keep on going. Okay, that's promising. More Cups of Wishes for sure. I'm going to get at least 11 more. Hopefully I don't need more. So that'll give me over 20 revives. Goodbye, all of our cash, by the way. Actually, I'm going to spend down to 4,300. I'm not messing around. I really don't want to use another store again if we have, if we can avoid it. I still have a decent number of honey elixirs, but I could buy a few more. Candies I don't super care about. I mean, I could stock them just to stock them to maybe cheaply save us a couple wishes. Alright, so if I'm really desperate, I'm going to get a couple of candies. But I doubt I'll need them. I'm going to buy some more honey elixirs, though. I think we had an okay amount in our storage, but it would be nice for the final boss to make sure that we don't run out. And chocolates were actually pretty good because they're somewhat efficient for us at this point. I'll get a couple more. So we used about 4,000 of the 6,000 we gained from killing on the way here. And then I'm going to rest, and then we're going to proceed. So yeah, I feel pretty well stocked up now. Undine Day, perfect. <laughs> it's a day that doesn't impact us at all. Let's go ahead and save. That's how I feel, chat. Just like, oh boy. So we still have some throwables. I hopefully don't need to use them for the rest of the game. They were somewhat useful. I was stunlocking the werewolves, but sadly, they decided to just infinite heal at some point. Uh, I don't want to go to the moors. I want to specifically go to Stone Gap. How do I get it to register Stone Gap? I saw it before. No. There's like one specific area that I could go in. Yeah, this might be it. This will save us a big journey, I think. Wait. It said Stone Gap, but then it put me back in the moors? That's not what I told it to do. Excuse me, that's not what I just told you to do. How rude. <laughs> right, chat? How rude. That's, that's not the area you told me I was going to. Liar. Fine, put me over here then. Somewhere. Put me somewhere over here. I'd rather go from here. I guess I could have checked Maya out to see if they remember to upgrade the equipment, but I don't think it matters. So I'm assuming we just need to go back to where we fought Full Metal Hugger, I think its name was. So in order to do that, we gotta go back to the Dwarven Caves. Unfortunately, we should have lightning, which should be the opposite elemental of Earth, I'm assuming. Hold that enemy real quick, get a little bit of cash. Get through you. Just bonking everything from existence. Hopefully I didn't walk past the place I needed to go to. I forgot how far in this was. I mean, the worst thing that happens is I end up at the night market again. Oh, there we go. So I'd prefer not to have to upgrade again, but if we have to, I'll buy a weapon. 
we'll we'll see how much damage i'm doing uh, it, actually the most part isn't the damage we're dealing it's more the nonsense of uh okay so nothing new there so they never rebuilt the bridge sadly yeah i'm not super worried about our damage versus enemies at this point i'm more concerned about uh surviving werewolf type enemies but I can't recall any other problem enemies, to be honest with you, aside from Werewolf, because that thing was just gross. So I believe, it, actually, curiosity. We go back to the Dwarven city. Did their stuff increase or improve? Welcome. Nope. So I guess only certain merchants did, but interestingly the Oasis Town leveled. I wonder why only those kinds of places leveled. Like it makes sense that they have the cats there to get more equipment, but it's interesting that the other places did upgrade, unlike the other places. Oh. Wait, this area didn't level up? Um... Is this not where we fought Gnome? Am I mi uh, Why do I feel like a Unless it wants me to go to... Uh... No, there should have been a stone here. I'm like, wait a minute. I mean, there's technically two places I could have gone to, but it's weird that it hasn't leveled up. This is making me second guess myself. Do I have to go literally to... Oh, I'm sorry. I said Full Metal Hugger earlier. I meant uh, Jewel Beast. Does it want me to go back to Jewel Beast? Or not Jewel Beast. To the real location of Full Metal Hugger. There leads to Jewel Beast, but I thought Jewel Beast was where Gnome was. So now I feel just kind of confused. Let me save the game. Oh, never mind. Hmm. I have the name of the Benevidons. I think I did from earlier. Yeah, so we're just looking... I think we're looking for Land Umber, specifically. Oh, uh, okay. I think I see what happened. I think we gotta go back to the overworld chat. I'll kill these guys out of annoyance though. Yeah, somebody had warned me between streams that this one was not in an obvious location. So I think if I'm gonna take their advice literally, I need to go back out with Flammy. But I would have assumed it would have been in here for sure, but looks like it's not here. <laughs> like our weapons making sounds. It's interesting because it looks like it's lit up here. That's me kind of questioning things. These are the moors. Hmm. Let's land and continue onwards, maybe. Just want to see something. Fill that thing real quick, don't mind me. It's possible I need to get over to that hole. But anyway, we're on the great search for the Benevidon. I would like to get this one out of the way. So that way we don't have to memorize which ones we've been to. So far, they're still not leveling up, so we're not there yet if it's over here at all. Ah, uh, the cats are here. Okay. Well, I guess that solves that riddle of where the enemy is. Not badly do I want an a armor increase. Not that badly. 
How big is the weapon increase is the question. Ooh, that's so expensive though. <sighs> I don't think that's worth it. I'm gonna skip. I'm gonna skip an upgrade. I, I could in theory buy the armor if I want to. Wow, they're level 36. It's hilariously strong. Hmm. So I'm not really able to kill them at any reasonable pace. Might have to just ignore encounters for now. Till we get to the boss. In theory, I could elemental weapon myself. I do want to kill at least one enemy so I have an idea of how much damage, or not damage, how much XP we get for killing them. But that's about it. Because I could compensate not having the weapon by just using strength up. 433? That's actually pretty good. So I don't think the slime is worth fighting unless we kill it with magic, maybe. It's 222. It's insane. Let's not fight this. So yeah, I probably would have been stuck looking for a while had someone not given me a hint on that. Because this is an area we've never been to before. I don't know if anything would have prevented me from coming here earlier or not, to be honest, because we did not see this earlier in the playthrough. Kid Dragon, there you go. I would like to not fight these things if I can avoid it. You know what, our ally died, that's fun. I guess they dead for now, I'm not gonna revive them. Wait, these guys are only level 28? Well, that's not too bad. I mean, I could just get a full heal since I'm here. Uh, why can't I heal? Game. Thanks, you caused my other character to die because I wasn't able to heal. Love that. Love that. I don't really want to fight Kid Dragon. He's not really doing a lot of damage to me. So I think I'm just going to keep moving. Can you please heal before we take damage? Thank you. So your damage is mediocre, but keep in mind I have weapon weakness here. So if the weapons upgrade yet again, I'm going to save myself a lot of money. Uh, where is the exit? Oh, I think it's over here. <sighs> yeah, that's not too bad. We just got to get through the screens, right chat? Just got to do what we can and not take damage. Ooh, enemies literally right there. That sucks. Okay, so we're just gonna heal a little bit, which is a bit slower. Arguably, I could have spent stuff on armor if I wasn't gonna get the weapons and then skip armor on the next level up. But we'll see. Because I would like to save up for the quote-unquote super weapons at the end, so if I don't need to upgrade stats, I'd prefer to skip it. Uh, unfortunate? Okay, I should be able to get through this, and then they should be able to stall with their face. Cool. It's weird because these enemies are not super high level, but at the same time, like, they're- I'm barely hurting them. So I'm not sure where the level 30 enemies are. Maybe the game took pity on me and they overleveled me by a lot. I suppose I should kill them to see how much they give. 267, that's about what I thought. So we'll kill a couple of these just for the sake of, uh... Yeah, see, these guys I'm actually able to damage. So the level 38 people I was not able to kill, but the level 28 I was. Is that like a safety precaution? They've actually overleveled me by so much that they became low level? Oh, never mind. Wishful thinking. So I could see the difference, like, they are taking about 20 less damage. So about a weapon upgrade, less damage. So we could kill the level 28s just to get extra gold, because maybe that'll be the difference between us affording another weapon or not. And we're not super, super far from leveling, from what I recall. You just do this to kill them. It's 
Speaking of which, strength upgrade. Exactly what we're looking for. So yeah, that's fine. We could take a couple kills here and there. So if we get at least one more kill, might level another party member. That's a little more safety HP. Potentially a little more damage. If we're allowed to strength up, that is. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna level strength actually, because <laughs> I think we just we need to legitimately just do more damage. I don't care who does damage at this point. Spirit is nice and all, but I don't think we need healing necessarily to increase again. Also, curiosity, how much money did we get from that? So we're at 42,000, 43,000. So about... What was that, about 10,000? No, 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 that can't be it. Disregard. I mean, it's... They're also, they also seem to not be worth a lot of money, which is a shame. Especially for how many p things we killed. I guess because they're only level 28 for the ones that we did kill. Whereas if I'm able to kill these, they would potentially be worth a lot. The problem is the slime is too tanky without me uh, upgrading here. I don't mind doing. Because I think with our strength, it's like we get the weapon increase here. Yeah, see, that's good damage. So I could kind of get around not getting a weapon upgrade by doing this. And given that I think I do need more money, might as well as get a kill here and level. If that just makes sense. Did you spell cast on me as you died? That's unfortunate that she died there. Valkyrie getting strength up is absolutely perfect because we need to boost our damage. So, curiosity. If we check our money again now, how much was that? Uh, not that much. So, weirdly, I think the forest net us more money per second than this area did. Which is kind of unfortunate. But hey, at least our minimum damage is higher. Almost at 500 HP, which is a good feeling. So I think we're at the point where fights might potentially give us items that we need to class rank up. So in theory, I could farm encounters here, since I think we've killed enough Benevidons for them to appear. I'll try to get a couple more kills, mostly just to afford new equipment. Oh my gosh, the damage. Why can't I heal? Why are you not letting me heal? Oh, because you're using a special attack. Love, I love the AI locking out my healing. It's my favorite feeling. Okay, that should stop them from dying. That's big damage for us actually here. Well, almost, almost a thousand experience just on those fights. So they're not hard, hard to kill as long as I get one strength up. So if we do need more XP, we could get further here. Also, there are so many enemies here. Let's get a strength up on you. So I do feel like our minimum damage is actually pretty good. So two heals is all it takes for us to full health, which I think is exactly what we need. I don't think I need to heal like 300 HP in a shot yet. Maybe after this boss, healing 300 would be worth it. But I'm hoping with the strength up here that we should be doing a big damage. Still not done with this room, apparently. How much XP do we need to level? 9,000, that's quite... That's not super, super far, because we are getting about a thousand every two kills. So I need 18 kills to level, which is... Eh. Might get some hero there. Please don't be the boss. It's not the boss. I'm just looking to see if a save statue's here. I feel like we have to be really close to one. Yeah, I was gonna say. I just... That was gut instinct. I'm like, we went too many rooms without seeing one. I'm like, let me just double check. It just, that felt wrong to me. So RPG instinct was kicking in there for sure. Um, sorry, one more pause. How much gold did I get? We didn't earn as much gold 
as I, as I got in the forest still. Wow, maybe we'll just go back to the forest and farm. That was like so easy for gold. This area just kind of sucks for gold. I'll play as the healer for now. So at minimum, this should afford us our armor upgrades. Which is kind of nice. Did significant damage, but didn't kill us, importantly. Got reduced to 83. Why can I not heal or buff? There we go. Buff and heal. See, so yeah, I think with our minimum strength raised, I think we're in a pretty good position. That'll make up not having the weapon. Let's continue forward. I would have liked for her to have 400 HP, but I don't think it's mandatory at the moment to have. Ooh, the- oh, I forgot about the Egatrice. Oh, those enemies are going to be awful at high level. Ooh. 28's fine. 30-something 30, 30 will be a nightmare. I have no interest in partaking in that. I'll get over the head real quick. So at least we're strong enough to kill everything roughly our level, which I think is a good sign. So I'm not really feeling threatened by these enemies in particular, for example. And at least we're able to kill these things pretty quickly, so it's almost faster to level in these than the other place. Which is kind of funny. I'll take it this in case we get something interesting here. Get a heal for everybody. So again, just slightly better HP across the board, and strength up is nice. But we really need a serious level up at some point. Yeah, our damage is okay here. Let me uh, heal off of this. So I feel like for the most part, I'm more just getting punished for the armor than the weapon. Like we are killing a little slower, but I think it's more the armor is the problem for us. So I think if we get a couple of kills here, we can afford the armor and that can hold off until the end of the game for the other armor upgrade, if I even bother getting it. So there's two different ways I could go here. Hmm. Try right first. Healing statue. Okay. Also on the plus side, we have 53 MP. So if we ever do class upgrade, we can cast a lot of buffs or debuffs as needed. It is kind of funny watching the healer actually able to damage. Are you just gonna not not gonna let me heal? Cool. Let's bonk you. Letting you attack, I think, would be a big mistake. So probably in two or three more levels, I'd want to get spirit to make sure our healing skills a little better. So yeah, we're, we basically got back up to 46,000. That's not too bad. I would like to not deal with these enemies. Let's move on. So keep in mind, we have the elemental weakness of this boss. So our, our boss fight should go really quick compared to everything else. I guess there's no downside in at least using her buff magic again. And then having him switch to Sylphid, maybe. Something like this. That way they all at least get a small damage increase. I slightly cancelled his animation. So even if they're not directly weak to it, it does slightly improve damage. And I think that's all we really need, it's just a slight improvement of damage. Put that guy out right. Oh, that's super dead. 
That XP is not good. Hmm. Another heal. How many healing statues are there? <laughs> Wait, is that the third one? Where was this when I was climbing the tower, by the way, chat? Where was my three healing statues of the stupid moon tower? Whatever. <laughs> what? There, there did not need to be that many. I'm sorry. It's just silly. To buff you. Buff Twinkle, because it's funny. I mean, I'm just going to find my way to the boss at this point. We're, we're hitting for like 40. It's actually pretty good. I get destroyed there for a second. So strength up yourself. Then I'm just going to heal everybody. So a minimum, we have some strength up across the board. I just, I just like you to die. Finkel has been strength buffed, so that should one shot. Yep, exactly. Ooh, spin slash with the upgrade. This will be big damage. That's a lot of XP we just got off of this. Why are they not attacking? There we go. Ooh, this might kill me. I'm gonna try to mash heal. And I save them with a candy and save myself some time. I did. Nice. Nice death prevention. Bonk and revenge. Check our money total one last time before we go in this cave. So I got all my money back from healing items. I don't need that much to level. So I could fight here potentially to uh, get some nice upgrades if I want to. We're at the point where I think the next area, if I wanted to class up, would be the place I would farm to get guaranteed seeds. So I think 38 is the minimum level. So if they're 37, I don't think I could get it from them. So it might be worth trying to get the seeds if I really want them in the next dungeon versus this dungeon. But if nothing else, this just afforded all of our armor improvements by killing these two. So I'm happy with that. Another couple wishes? Wow, where was that when we were in the tower? So it's kind of a weird mix of low-level enemies and high-level enemies. Like, I don't mind some areas being easier, for sure. I think it's kind of interesting if they flood the screen with weak enemies, but then have, like, some tougher enemies, it's fine. Just kind of what's happening here. Don't mind me, just gonna bonk one of you real quick. Okay, we're just very gradually getting close to leveling again. I would have thought we would have been at the boss by now, but I guess maybe that's why there's so many healing statues. So if you have 10 more rooms like that, we'll level. I'd like to not fight this room. Let's go this way. I'm gonna take a quick heal on everybody. So I think important thresholds are whenever we get over like a hundred digits. So if she, could, if Twinkle could get to 400 HP, I think we'd be in a really good spot. But at the same time, I really don't want to farm. Also, is it me or is this dungeon like insanely long? Like, I swear we've gone through more than 15 rooms at this point. And I would have thought we would have been at the boss literally by now, but apparently not. Nice one shot. We have enough spare MP that I can use it in casual encounters if I really need it. And since her buffs only cost 2 MP... Why can I not buff? That was weird. I might as well just use it, because at any given time, at most, I need 8 MP for a boss. So fortunately, she's in a good spot. Oh, that buffed spin attack is good for us. Goodbye, these enemies.
<laughs> it's still going. I mean, I, I guess I'll just level again. I wasn't planning to level more than once in a dungeon, but... Given I've lost all concept of how many more fights we need to do, might as well as just do it again. I got the MP for it. So buff yourself, and then I'm going to heal the party here. Because I think as long as two of three party members are strength up, I think we kill them at a reasonable time, even with the spellcasting delay. Just means that Twinkle won't do any damage, which is fun. Just using her to stun mostly. Oh, this will be big damage. Thanks to strength up. Bonk one of them for real damage. This should finish off the room, I think. There we go. More strength? I'm kind of thinking so. Honestly, we need bonk damage, Chan. Raise that bonk damage. And level the gladiator strength? Absolutely. Uh, so, almost everybody got two levels. I might get another level as we go through here. Come on, needs a haircut. Trim, trim their life bars down. So yeah, we'll get one more level up here. So yeah, we're definitely over level compared to where I thought I would be. Just fine, I don't need to be like min level. I should be able to deny my own death there. Love it. Strength up myself. Again, the more strength we have, the faster we can bully these enemies and level faster. HP doesn't matter. When I run out of strength ups, I'll just focus on spirit for the remaining characters. Oh, that was big damage. Might be GG for them. So hopefully this will level our last character, so we're all at the same level. I would hope with that much XP. Oh, another strength up as well. Oh, that's really good. That is good across the board. And now everybody has over 400 HP. And we have uh, needs a haircut at over 500 by a little bit. So I think we got good range of survivability. I'm going to guess by the fact I'm still doing damage, my buffs are active. Which is good. It's nice to see the buffs didn't wear off in this room. So might as well just get the easy kill while we're here. Curiosity. Money total looking at 49,000, pretty good. XP looking at 11,000, not so good. Continue onwards. <laughs> Where is this boss? Where is it, chat? I've lost track of how many rooms we've been in. It's been that many. Like, the other dungeon was short. It was like maybe eight rooms, but I got looped in like a weird way. But uh, this one... And by other one, I meant the, the ruins versus the tower. The tower also took way too long. Tower was at least 15, mostly just due to going in a door, then going up a stair, then leaving like five times in a row. So we'll kill these things for gold, because I would like to get some super equipment later. This area would have been kind of interesting to do last, because I would have had so many opportunities to fight like higher level enemies. Yet at the same time, build up a ton of cash for the end of the game. So it's kind of a shame I actually went here first. Well, not first, but not dead last. So we, we got here out of 5 out of 8, so we got some benefit from it. I think Moon Tower absolutely should have been done first. Just to get out of the Werewolf Central. Everything else I think is fine. I'm kind of curious where that puts the Dark Crystal, because we were on the Ghost Ship before for Shade. Let's melee this thing as we get up here. It's a buff me again. So we still have a decent amount of MP, and keep in mind, I still have nine Walnuts. We've surprisingly not needed to use Walnuts, but I guess that's because we never really got offensive spells, and healing and support is so cheap. So I guess that works. So I think our goal chat is to maybe kill all of them tonight, maybe? It really just depends on how long the uh, other fights are. Oh, I'm definitely going to keep attacking while we got buffs. Get that free XP and money. Uh, I 
need our other allies to wake up. I'm gonna bring them up here. I like that I can use like the LNR to force them to come up here. Yeah, I think it's worth killing this guy if we can. Lots of eye moves. So yeah, just higher overall strength means that boss fights are shorter since they're... How, how is there more? This better be, this better be the boss. I'm just saying, please. How, how is this not the boss? How many screens is this? What the heck is this? Holy. Chat, I'm, I'm dead serious. When did we start this dungeon? I've lost all sense of time. This is like as long as the ruins took and the tower so far. Holy. Combined, more specifically. Well, I guess I'm just gonna try to heal spam where I can. So that should cancel the death that that character is about to have. I would like you to strength up me because I'm more aggressive than the AI is. So we go from doing one damage to at least 50, which is kind of worth it. See, I'm hoping between his spin slash and my next move, it should just kill. 426, that's good damage. 286, that's okay. Another chest. We're getting a lot of the eye moves. I don't know if they're any good though. Another cup of wishes. That's good. Wait, did I just leave the dungeon? Oh, that sucks. How did I get turned around? I mean, I might as well just buy the upgrade since I'm here. I thought we went down and then we went around, but I guess we just exited the dungeon. Kind of unfortunate. Well, on the plus side, chat. I'm just gonna get, a, get our defense increase now, now that we have the cash. Not touch this for a while. So we're gonna buy this. Buy that. This is 170. Yeah, I think if I do this, I basically go cash neutral here. So I wonder where I was supposed to go, because it felt like we were going down for a while and then I looped over. But I guess maybe there was like a circle somewhere in there and I accidentally like missed the ult path or something weird. I don't really want to get a new weapon. We're going to save our money for later, but new armor. This will last me, I think, for three bosses or so. That's my goal here. 30 extra defense. Almost 30 extra defense. And so far we're taking about 60, so we're halving the damage here is actually pretty huge for us, I think. Sadly, no magic defense increase, which I was kind of hoping for, but not the end of the world if we didn't get it. So we should be back up to... 40,000, if I'm doing math correctly. Yeah, so we're, we basically ended up at almost the same total since before we left the dungeon. Which I'm okay with. But I would like to not have to purchase more weapons. So let's continue forward for now. Okay, so let's try this again. So I'm gonna ignore all the combat. We should be able to tank the hits. it felt like I was doing a lot of left and rights, which is still true here. Air damage is okay. Let's get out of here, Chan. Actually, what I should do is I should play as the healer. That way he could spin slash and get us more money. So I'm thinking the final weapons are probably going to be like 30k plus, which is why I don't want to spend too much more money. But I think having at least some defense would be like a sane thing to do. So we don't need to spend money on healing. And also make backtracking through earlier areas easier. Fine, I'll open this. It's probably just another eye though. Oh, chocolate. Okay. So I guess if I focus on never going up, maybe that'll stop me from looping. Even though some of them are questionably left and right. 
So yeah, let's just ignore the fights here. We should be able to now that we have defense. Hmm. Doing 55. Still pretty big damage, don't get me wrong. But I also don't have to heal as much. But they're doing one damage to me. Yeah, these are the... So the weaker enemies can't even hurt me anymore. So I guess it was worth it just for this room, if nothing else. Okay, so let's go downwards further then. Are you, are you not going to attack because I'm not attacking? It's a bit unfortunate, actually. So I'm going to go ahead and heal. Guess I could take this kill real quick. Oh, miss, miss, miss. Maybe not. Why are they not attacking? There we go. There we go. Maybe they're just getting hit out of their attack animation. Much better. Not much better. Please don't kill me. Hope our allies here can do enough damage. And we'll move on. I just want to get like a tiny bit more cash back and then I'll feel good. Build a couple of these. I can bonk this guy out of the way with my special. Or not. It just won't activate. That's fine. <clears throat> Let's not worry about it then. Okay. Let's try to avoid going up and see what happens. So, so far this is fine. We have defense to get through this. It's still like a million screens. I think my complaint is still valid. It takes forever to get through here. So let's go this way. I think, did I go right there last time? No, I went left to get to this. Save again. I must have gotten turned around at one of the save statues. That's all I can think of. Let's go right this time. Take a big damage, unfortunate. Because I remember, the weird part is I remember coming through this area. It must have been at the second save statue. That's what it probably was, and that's why we hit like a, an alleged third one. So it's still a very long dungeon, even when we get through here. Let's go through. Ugh, please stop comboing me. Right, and then I think I went left last time. Maybe I had to go down here? Okay. Don't you dare loot me back at the other place. <laughs> Don't you dare, right chat? Don't you dare. So hopefully this will stop me from going upwards. But we'll find out, I guess. Okay, I'm ignoring all the fights. This is promising. I don't remember going into a cave last time. Oh, that sucks. I must have taken the upper path and just ended up back at where we began. I think that's what happened, Chad. I think that eventually loops back to the entrance. And that's why I ended up back at the start. Because I, I missed the... Uh, I could have gone down and then left instead of just left. Okay. So anyway, that aside, let's go ahead and buff up a little bit. I think it should be lightning, hopefully. I'm gonna do that just to speed up his animation. I mean, I guess it's kind of cheesy, but it's like, I don't think I really have a choice if I want this to not really hard punish me. Like, I think I just need to wait in the menu here for a few seconds, because this cast time is an eternity normally. And what I can do is buff up something like this. And I could do something like this. Mm 
Uh, that'll reduce this cast time here. Then I could do this. So everybody at least has got some damage. But I'm hoping... So I did 118. That's a lot of damage. I'm hoping that after this we're going to be doing like 150 plus even with Charlotte. So keep in mind, we've been pumping our strength quite a lot. 180. So yeah, that's a big damage difference. This boss fight should go real fast compared to the other nonsense we went through. So we have boss weakness and strength up. This should be GG. I like how the boss is literally just spamming cinematic attacks and I can't do anything. I, can, I can't attack move or item, by the way, just for clarity. I'm mashing the use item here. Honestly, only she's been injured. I might just single target heal her. Hopefully this heals more. It does. 360 is good enough. So this boss fight, I think, will take a while just from the standpoint that I'm locked into very long animations where I can't do anything like this. Just got to watch it play out. And since the boss is up there and it's probably going to cast a spell on me, let me just heal preemptively. Okay, I got all of our characters closer, so I took manual control there, since that seemed to be an issue last time, where they just didn't know where to fight the boss. So I'm hoping by just guiding them slightly to where they need to be, it should be good enough. But already we're doing like almost double damage compared to the other fights. That just shows how strong like elemental weakness is in this game. Like how much hilarious damage we're doing comparatively. But again, I think since we got our armor upgrade, even Crushing Blow doesn't seem to be doing a lot. So I'm assuming that's physical damage and not magic. I'm just gonna go ahead and just AoE heal. Oh, why can I AoE heal? Oh, because she's attacking or something. Please let me actually heal. That also, as I said before, is kind of annoying. Like, I'm hitting the button to hit the other ally, but she's like in an attack animation. There we go, so I can't heal. So sadly here, because the game was messing around with me so much, it managed to cast a spell there, which could be very bad for us. Oh wait, it died. Oh. Okay, well, I will officially say this was the fastest boss that we fought. <laughs> right, chat? That was way faster. Dungeon length long. Boss fight extremely short. Oh, awkward level up. Uh, I'll put a point in spirit for the future, I think. So we did hit level 30 with one of our characters. Did you get new equipment? That's all I'm curious about. Nope. So let's refuse to get an upgrade for now. I don't think it matters. Save our money maybe for the final upgrade. So our defense is looking pretty good. Our damage is okay because we've been strength upping. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Where is the eighth one? Or maybe that's the dark area. Maybe maybe when we go into the, the illusion place, it'll turn into something else. Because I only see, now that I'm counting, seven blinking dots. So we could do Undine next. Or I could skip Undine, because Undine should be easy. No, that's what I'm going to do. I, before we before we level this thing up where we don't have its weakness at all, why don't we just do this one first and do Undine last? I think that just makes more sense, because even if Undine empowers up, we have Elemental Scepter, or Saber, I mean. So we're going to be doing big damage. Yeah, I'm going to refuse to purchase. If we really need to do damage, I'll just Strength up, because we saw that was pretty effective. They're level 38. Ooh. That is pretty strong. So I think at this point we should be seeing uh, potentially class up items. Because we need to be level 38 to rank up. Chantress leveled. I think I just want to level her strength. Just so that her damage can somewhat keep up at a boss battle when she gets buffed.
Yeah, these enemies overall seem much easier to kill. But not worth as much experience, sadly, it looks like so far. I guess that's the trade-off. You won. Valkyrie level. So I can't get any more points in strength, intelligence, or spirit. Oh no, it was just being weird with me. Uh, probably... Spirit? Or I could get intelligence for the future. I don't know if it really matters. We'll do spirit for now, I guess. Hmm. Not sure which way to go, so I'll just pick a random direction. So we are taking significant damage, but fortunately, as I mentioned before, we do seem to at least be taking a sane amount of damage versus just being instantly deleted. So I imagine the rest of our party should level soon. I do not like that they just got an attack there. That could be really bad for us. Holy. Holy. Oh, oh my gosh. I almost got one shot there. That's not good. That is not good at all. Let's not fight the bees, chat. That damage was insane. I took 600 damage. So, I, what's the counterplay? I have the best armor. Just be like really high level so it doesn't kill you. Like this crappy counterplay. And even then, that would only really apply to one character. So let's kill him and maybe we'll get an item for later. We'll see. Why don't you buff me? Actually, that would be beneficial. So if we see the bee, we just refuse the fight. So they are they are the new werewolf. CB leave. Just don't even mess with them, they're not worth it. Open for a treasure chest here. We did get it. Is that the Reaper? Cool. I love the chest doing like a, a fifth or a quarter of our health, depending on the character. Nice. So I think at this point, if we can't level strength anymore, we'll just level spirit for healing or damage. Oh no, 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 no. We are not, we are not messing around with that. Nope. We are out of there. No. No. Don't, don't do any attacks. I don't want to see what you do. That looks like a dead end. We'll go back the other way. Unfortunate. Please let me through. Please let me through. Of course you're not going to let me through. Why would you? Uh, so let's emergency heal, and then I need to swap in as the healer, I think. I don't mind our other characters meleeing, because their damage is completely fine, to be honest. I'm worried that path requires a kill to advance. I really don't like... I really don't like that they've locked me in this area. Okay, let's let's try to kill everything in this room. But I'm in a really bad position. If this doesn't equal progress, I don't know how to get through that other room. I mean, we have some water coins, but I don't know if that's going to be good enough. Let's try to buff up, I guess. So I'm hoping between these two characters, we should be fine. Okay, good damage. So you have two characters with really good damage, and then my damage is terrible, but that's fine. Maybe spin slash into this is good enough, since we have been leveling our strength pretty consistently. We did win, and there's... Uh, I do have to go back through that other room. That really sucks. How do I deal with this? It's like their enemy position never reset. I'm guessing that's what happened. It just remembered where they were. Hmm... Give us a quick heal. It's possible we could level fighting these things. Just depends on how many fights we have. So we have an up and a right. I'm gonna try going right first. But yeah, I have no idea. These dungeons are kind of confusing. 
Last dungeon, not so much. I just got baited by another path, but... It's like there's there's a lot of choices in this dungeon in particular. We're at another split path. Like, I don't know if our goal is up or left. Like, the other one, I kind of understood what our goal was. This is a new area, so I guess I'll keep moving forward for now. We have two paths we could go. I'll try left. I'll just try going left repeatedly, and hopefully that's the solution. Using protection. Don't care about that spell. We want to just leave. It's like a little path up there. I guess... I guess that's good. We, we've hit a safe statue. So we have two more dungeons to go. And we'll probably be 32 or 33. I guess I'll go left. I'm just going to keep going left. Hopefully this will clear a path once we kill everything here. If not, we'll go back right. Since we've seen the dungeon has unlocked places before, let's get a quick heal in here. Once we clear all the enemies. And having more gold for the final equipment is also not a bad idea. Because just in case it's like 40,000 or something, I would like to get some upgrades if possible. Oh, that was a blowout for the enemy. More dream reads, not worth it. It's possible they also just won't appear unless the enemy and myself are the right level for the mystery seeds. So I'm not really going to worry about it too much if I don't see any. I really don't want to deal with that enemy. Let's just move on. <laughs> just, we don't have any debuffs, so goodbye. It's a pumpkin. Miss Palm the Benevidon. It seems like it has uh, Tropicalos or whatever they're called helping out. I'm gonna say this enemy also appears in Legend of Mana. Alright, so I'm gonna tell you to buff you. I'm gonna switch this him, tell you to heal yourself, and I'm gonna just focus on damage for a little bit. We got almost all the buffs that we need. Hopefully Twinkle heals herself here. Nice, nice. Needs a haircut is going in. Needs a haircut immediately put to sleep. Cool. I was one ability from having something useful. Let's have you, instead of using Dream Read, we're just gonna use Twinkle Rain, which is useful. That has saved us some time, for sure. Checking one of our party members around, nice. See, I figured before we level this thing up further, might as well do some big damage. Ooh, AoE, how much is it gonna do? That did so little damage. So yeah, I think we could, maybe we just got through all the hard ones. Like, outside of maybe Shade might be a special battle. Uh, these other enemies are way easier than the stupid Werewolf Tower. I'll take this area all day. I wish our allies were a little more aggressive. I did position them so that they should be able to strike here, but they're just not, for the most part. There we go. Nice. I like that they cancelled getting grabbed briefly with a special attack. That's kind of funny. But I think with all of our strength ups here and focusing on strength, we should be fine. <laughs> We're just chaining all the special attacks, apparently. Oh, not targetable, not targetable. That's why. I was about to say. Yeah, we're doing some pretty good damage. And then we should be able to abuse Undine's weakness of fire to make the other fight really fast. It also means if we have to farm in that dungeon at all, or potential level ups, then we should also be fine. Uh, why can't I use herbs? Hello? There we go. Twinkle Rain in place of herb, I mean. 
I guess she was mid-strike again when I used it. He did go to sleep real quick. He just went... It was bedtime for him. Wait, is that it? Oh, no, it's an attack. I was gonna say, I was like, wow, that, that officially was the fastest. Okay, that, that's, they're putting up a little more of a fight. That's fine. So I'm gonna... Oops. I'm gonna go ahead and full heal, and then I'm just gonna nuke him real quick with this attack. So yeah, feeling pretty good. I'm assuming the bottom left will end up being where we have to get shade or whatever. So if there's like a final merchant in the Forbidden City, blocked by time, then that's fine. Put her to sleep. Honestly, do I even want to wake her up? I think we're fine. I think our damage is good enough. Weirdly, Charlotte slash Twinkle with strength up is good enough. I really don't think we need more. If she gets the final blow, it'd be really funny. 362 is pretty good damage. It's worth three of our normal strikes. Nice. Oh, I tried special attacking out of that. Kinda worked. See, so yeah, I figure before this thing levels out of control, we just bully him. It used wall on itself. I imagine it's very low on HP. That is so rude that it did back-to-back -back attacks and canceled my menu every single time. If I die from this, I'm gonna be so sad. So I, fe I felt like I got cheated there. Okay, so we should be out of kill range, because 288 health is a lot. Oh, it actually attacked me for once. This little Tropicolo head thing. <laughs> Don't get bullied by Twinkle. Oh no, it's getting bullied by Twinkle. Doing some weed whack in here. Don't mind me. Mill Lily, you are not pumpkin head. Go away. See, I'm thinking what we'll do. I know we can at least do Undine. I'm just thinking about if I want to try for the final Benevidon or not tonight. Maybe. And fight's over. Oh no, never mind. Baited me again with the full screen flashes. It has to be close though. Cancelled my heal again, which I find incredibly rude. Rude. Heal. Special attack. So this boss is tanky, but it's not making me reapply buffs, so it should go pretty quickly. Hopefully in the next like 30 seconds or so this boss will die. Speaking of which, this time for real it died. Okay, full restore. You won. Only two left, we're nearly there. It's not good enough to level. The question is... I guess I should probably save, because I think that was a second... Well, I guess we technically saved before the other boss. I would like to not redo the boss in case something weird happens. Let's go find a place to save real quick, like over here. A pumpkin deity or something. Oh. I can't actually go here, still. Huh. Well, so much for going to Altina chat. Maybe if we had picked uh, Angela, I believe her name was, from the beginning, we would have been able to see what the city was like. That's for another time, I suppose. Okay, I just need a town. I just want to do a safety save, and then we're gonna go... No, not, the ki not that kingdom. We'll go here. Come on. Come on, there we go. <laughs> I debate the game. I'm like, I know I can land here somewhere. So I'm just coming here to save the game. Yes. So Undine, I imagine, will be pretty quick. It's more of a question of how hard will the shade equivalent stand in is. Because that one, its name is question mark, question mark, question mark, according to the lore. Deep lore chat. Undine should be Figmon, I think is what they called it. 
But since I have Fire Saber, I don't really care about these. Should be a really fast kill overall. Labyrinth of Ice. Yes, please take me to the Labyrinth of Ice. Please. Please. Oh, dialogue took a little while there. So weapon still has not increased, so I'm not going to bother. We're just going to get our final upgrade at the other place. And it's not like we, we need damage versus this boss. And then I can have him maybe flame sword the girl for free damage. Then I can play as Twinkle. This should be pretty oppressive amounts of damage. So I think between the two of them, they should be able to kill basically everything. We have so much raw MP from our level ups that I don't think I need a walnut at this point. Oh yeah, look at that damage. Now other curiosity is, how much do we need to level? We're at 50,000, only 1,300. Okay, that's probably worth leveling then. Getting like two or three more kills. While we casually just go through this area. Oh, it's one of those enemies. Um, Let's buff your damage and then have you buff his damage. And while I'm in this menu, it'll reduce his casting time. Which I think is the call. I think as, maybe as long as I do the guy first, the buffs aren't as terrible. Maybe. It's just having him wait and do a standalone one is atrocious. Oh, awkward level up. We get more spirit. I don't think I need spirit. Let's just get stamina. Chantress, can I get more strength? Nope. Can I get more spirit? I can. Okay. Let's improve how much we're healing. lightning damage itself, but I got bad news for it. We have a lot of damage hitting him. Should be GG. Hopefully this will level the other character. Indeed it did. Strength up? No, no strength up. Let's see. Can't level. Spirit. Why is it sometimes it just seems to get stuck on things when I rotate? That's weird. Anyway, uh... I don't know if it matters. Let's just get stamina, I guess. So now she's above 500 health. Ooh, we got a class up seed. There we go. So maybe somebody will finally be able to do it. <laughs> I need to somehow gain seven more levels, which I'm not seeing at the moment happening, but it's there, I guess. If I could have one character level, it'll probably be the, the gladiator, to be honest with you. Although, potentially having Twinkle level could be useful if, it, if I get a debuff. Just for the final boss. But having raw stats on the character that's actually doing damage would also make a lot of sense. I'll think about it. Let's uh fire up on Twinkle, because it's funny. And have her strength up, need a haircut. So that should be a small damage increase, plus I'm hitting weakness. It should be big damage overall. Then I can have you strength up yourself as well. That way our team should be doing big damage. I took 200 damage there. <laughs> I should not be the one taking big damage. Let's go heal. So hopefully this big sword slash will uh, clear these enemies up. Maybe we'll get another mystery seed. Since that's what we need to unlock the other classes, we have to grow it. Which is kind of a bad mechanic when you think about it. Your your ability to class rank up is dependent on RNG drops. So, not a fan of that for the obvious reasons. So we'll, we'll clear out this room and then I'm curious how much we need to level just so we have like a rough idea of how likely it is for us to hit like 33, for example. So we're getting even more money for super equipment currently. I can't
cancel the level up sound. Or not level up, the XP sound. 11,000. That's not terrible. It would be like 10 full room clears, maybe. It's not bad. But again, they're, we're like hilariously under level compared to everything else. So this looks like a dead end room, but I have to fight it just in case it opens up another area, unfortunately. But it looks like our raw stats seem to be carrying us through the dungeon. Yeah, like he just buffed himself, but I think he's already dead. So I don't think it really matters what he does. Speaking of which. Okay, so there's nothing else to do here. Let's heal. And our healing should be stronger because I put a potent spirit. So if we're healing at least 300 now, I think we're in a good spot. 305, yeah, that's perfect. Because that'll put me out of harm's reach of most of the boss damage at this point. So that was just a big dead end. So where did we really have to go? Hmm. I'll go backwards slightly. I'm just making sure I didn't miss like another path somewhere. Just making sure. Don't see anything here. I'm going to go back. So it must have been one of the other paths. Let's just go backwards. Because we've been killing enemies in these rooms, just in case it's like something weird, like, oh, you unlock the door. But I didn't remember seeing another path. Hmm. Is one of these doors taking us somewhere we need to go? Oh no, we're trapped. Well, in that case, fire up on Lenneth. Strength up yourself on need a haircut. That should cast, that should cut the cast time. So just taking advantage of the natural mechanic. And even if they don't have a weakness to fire, it still is a small strength increase. So I think it's still worth doing for us overall. I just wish I could apply them in any order because then I would be able to buff them one at a time without waiting for one cast to finish first. I am mashing that special attack button. There we go. So he's strength upping himself, but he might be dead before he gets to do anything. Thank you, strength increase. Ooh, the back-to-back -back specials. He's ultra dead. Get out of here. The exit appeared. Okay, so there is an exit up there. So that was another room where we did have to clear to advance. 300 HP should get us to the end of the dungeon, unless we get another fight. Okay. I'm gonna go left here. Oh, these enemies. Uh, There's immediately a door here. I'm just gonna take it. Actually, I'm gonna go left in case that's a save room. I'm just gonna check, is this a save room? It is not, and I got trapped. Wow. Never mind. That, that was the worst possible outcome. Thank you, game. Love it. So anyway, let's just get strength up since we're here. So between those two characters, we should be able to just bully everything from existence. Yeah, he's doing 220 plus. That's what I want to see. So this is a four-way room. What's over here? We're just gonna leave. I don't think this fight matters at all. Unless I want to get another seed. Maybe I could try to get another seed from it. Oh. Or he'll just immediately attack and kill literally everybody. What the heck? Uh, This is awkward. Please don't die. Wow, that was really unfair. That was really unfair. Come on. What is that, VS? I literally got one shot, chat. That's so stupid. All I was doing was looking for a save. I got punished so hard. All right, I'll save Shade for another time since we have to redo this. I don't feel like going through another dungeon after that. 
And the sad part is, as I said before, it's it's not even like I'm like that super undergeared, honestly. And even if I had like another 50, 60 health, I still probably would have died to that because I would have assumed 400 HP would survive everything here. Stupid. So let's try to go back through here. Is there anything I want to do to make my life less miserable here? I could try to get more defense on one of the characters, I guess. I don't know what the difference is between these. I guess I could buy them. Shadow ring and... Whatever. We'll try these. Maybe this will give us the resistance we need to not get one shot. So it's like, I love how like literally nothing threatens us and then just literally insta-death. Oh wait, we're both of them for the same character? Oh, that sucks. Wait, one. Oh, this is just a free accessory. Oh, okay. In that case... That only gives him two extra magic defense? Yeah, I don't think that matters. I mean, I'll wear it for the sake of wearing it, I guess. Yeah, that, that accessory does not matter at all. Okay, so sadly, I did lose progress because there was just no save anywhere in sight. So I'm just going to go ahead and skip most of these enemies until we're at a save point again. So I think it was the first door. No, no, no. I think it was second door. Yeah, it was second door. Alright, so I definitely do not want to go the left path because... Apparently, if we fight a, a knight at all, we just kind of explode. Oh, I meant to swap into Charlotte. Oops. Slash Twinkle. That was unfortunate. Because that way he could have been buffing himself as I did other things. So buff yourself. No, oh, I didn't swap to her again. Game, please. Game, please. You're killing me. I swear I'm hitting the swap button. Come on. Now I'm getting frustrated for sure. I I swear I hit swap ally before I went into that menu. Specifically to avoid what just happened, because I wanted to heal with her while we we're doing other things. Very annoying. Okay. Let's try this again. Rebuff yourself. Buff me. And then we should be good. So we could get the level up I didn't get that I got earlier if we kill these enemies, because I did not need that much to level from what I remember last time. So knights are a huge problem. I might have to just stun lock them with items. I'll think about it. So we should level very soon, because that's a lot of XP. It also means we're not healing for 300 anymore, which is a shame. So they are a different set of enemies, so it is random. So if I see the knight, we're going to reset, because that enemy type is garbage. I think I just leveled, that's why I'm not able to move. Yeah, it was. Alright, so can't get any more strength. I mean, I thought I put a point in stamina before to not die. Okay, so we'll just take the first exit then, because that did not make us go in a four-way. I would like for the other char- oh, he's mid-attack so he can't do anything. I would like for the other characters to do a bit more damage, so I'm gonna get one level up, so that way we get to where we were before. Sadly, I won't have anywhere near as much money as I did earlier, but again, I feel like the dungeon just arbitrarily punished me versus, like, player fall. Like, I didn't know the enemy could just do 400-something damage and kill me instantly. is not really fun to deal with. Uh, we'll do Spirit. Just to get the stronger heal. Oh. As I get blasted. I think for you, we just did Stamina. Because I just wanted to make sure she was above 500 HP. Also, that means we lost our Mystery Seed. That really sucks, actually. That really sucks. So unless we get the mystery seed back here, it's just gone forever. 
Wow. I didn't think about how bad that was for us. Okay, I'm gonna stick to the right door and hopefully we could get past the, the garbage. I'm gonna ignore combat. I could go left, I don't want to. Let's go up. I'm gonna go up again. I don't like that that's looping, so I'm gonna go right instead of going left. Oh, there's nothing I could do over here. That's unfortunate. Hmm. Yeah, losing a class seed there is really brutal. So that really demotivates me to level and do other things. Because at least then I could have had like the gladiator potentially with his final stuff, whether he had debuffs or just raw stats. But if I don't have it, I don't care. Oh, that's actually really annoying the other enemy spawned up there because that means I can't get treasure from this room now. That really sucks, actually. I'll kill you just to get money, but unfortunately because the other guy spawned, I'm not able to get treasure. Because it only does it when it's a full room clear. Okay, fine. Where does this take me relative to other locations? Is that another door up there? No, it's just wall shaded differently. So I'm gonna try to get another treasure back, but we'll see. Also, wow, none of us can hit this enemy. Please be the question mark seed. Okay, okay, we went neutral. I'm less salty. I'm less salty. So let's go this way. Let's full heal. No, no, before we full heal, you need to buff yourself. Then our ally needs a strength up. And then I need to full heal. Yeah, that'll work, that'll work. That way he gets that damage upgrade, it buys me time for healing. Get a little extra XP, maybe another chance at a question mark seed. Unfortunately, I think I don't have full control over what it is. So I think potentially, depending on what it gives us, it's not like I get to choose like before whether I go light or dark. It's whatever the seed is, is the class I could get from it. So it's possible that seed is actually completely useless. So I think it's determined at time to pick up. I just want to bully my way out of here real quick. This is feeling somewhat promising. I feel like there has to be a save. Yeah, I was going to say. So now we at least keep a seed. So sad. Yeah, we lost like eight minutes because we were only about two rooms away from this area. So I don't want to do any fights there because I can't get treasure, but I could do some small fights elsewhere. I think they make sense. Oh! We actually reached the boss pretty quickly, surprisingly. Wait a few seconds so that way I could get my buff in order. As I said before, normally I would have been strength upping, but I know that if I strength up, it's just gonna cancel on itself. I'm gonna have to. Oh, hello. Let's do strength up on you. There we go. And we'll get one last buff. So I at least want to get fire damage on myself. I'm not sure how much I need it for the other characters. I'm doing 24 right now. That's pretty mediocre damage, to be honest. But with the strength up here, plus fire, maybe we'll be doing 100 plus. Oh, just the fire by itself was 147? Ooh, never mind. I can actually put in some serious damage with this character then. As long as we can hit the boss, we're doing big damage. Yeah, that is a disgusting amount of damage. So far, I don't need to heal. Okay, used ice. Got frost seed. I think it's the first time we've had that status ailment hit us. We've been we've been moogled before. I 
I'm gonna heal probably a little after this. I might get a little greedy here. Because if, if, if I see the enemies casting a spell, I think it just makes more sense to wait. Oh, it buffered that since before the spell. Interesting. Let's get a heal going. Interestingly, he's the healer. I've taken no damage so far. And I definitely want to cure his status ailment. We should be good to go. Oh, he got out of it. Well, if he gets retargeted, he's about to get cured again. Oh, or maybe I dodged the status ailment by casting spells. I mean, that's interesting to know. If I can't get status ailment because I'm casting, it's actually pretty abusable, to be honest with you. But we're just doing so much wall damage to this boss. And our allies are more able to... Oh, it went underneath the ice. I was wondering what it was doing. Okay. Are you going to be targetable again? Or are you just going to... Okay. Boss icicles to fall. Don't really care that it decreased my evade. As long as it doesn't decrease attack, I don't care. Hmm. Is it gonna be targetable again, or...? I mean, I'm gonna cast a spell on it, just to see if I can damage it. It did hurt it. The back to back spells. Hmm. I wonder if it casts that first one because I hit it with a spell. Does that seem very suspicious that it did two spells? I got an AoE versus like a single target. Like, I would expect a single target because it's only been doing that up until this point. Also, is this boss ever going to be targetable again? What's going on? Yeah, see, it's only simple targeting. So I'm assuming that was the boss using a counterattack there to punish. Is this the boss coming back? I feel like I'm in a, a quintet game with how much time this is wasting. Hello? You gonna be targetable? There we go. That was like a solid 40 seconds of no interaction with the boss. It was a design choice, I suppose. So hopefully we kill it before it goes underground again. Okay, so while it's casting a spell like that, we are racking up tons of damage. So it might have already died, I'm not sure, because technically when it casts... It does stop it from dying for a little bit. I'm even gonna pop my special attack here, I think. Oh, speaking of which, I think we did kill it when it did the other attack. I think that checks out. Only the Nevadon of Darkness is left, but we don't know where the Dark Stone is. Yes, but we cannot afford to let the Benevadon get any stronger. If we had some quality equipment, we might stand more of a chance. Oh, didn't that mer Merchant Josephine mention a place called Peta with good equipment? We should go there and regroup. I wonder what happened if I never talked to them about it, because I almost didn't talk to her at all. Okay, so presumably we're now at our final point of leveling for the game. So I need not that much more to level, so I'll hit maybe 33 going on 34. But that's obviously much lower than level 38. So I'm hoping between all the stamina increases that we've gotten and the ability to damage cancel, we should be good to go here. Uh, I mean... I guess I'll... Try to be the character. It's not quite midnight yet. I guess this is fine. So we'll tr we'll try going to Peta. Sixty-two thousand. That's a lot of gold. 
So as I said before, if the equipment ends up being like 30k, I should be able to afford two weapon upgrades currently. So I'm hoping we could get three upgrades, but we'll see how expensive it is. The last upgrade was 17,000. Duelist tag has been sent to storage. Is Duelist the one that I wanted? Hold on, let me look up the class names real quick. Does I feel like that's not fair on me to memorize every single class name? Is that the dark one? Curiosity. I think that's the one that I want. Yeah, I think this is it. So I, I don't mind being dualist. I was looking to see maybe quickly which one I wanted out of these two. So I don't think I want to be the sword master, which I think is the light version. So I think I managed to actually look into the one that I wanted. So I believe the differences between the two, just to clarify, since I think I did watch somebody play as this character before the light version gets like moon and leaf saber which basically means i absorb stats on hit and it lets me do the elemental sabers enhanced for every single character which saves a little bit of time but the duelist i think just has more raw stats and has a better super attack and given that all i care about is raw stats i think i'm okay with that so if he hits level 38 now, this is actually convenient. So just to give an idea, I looked it up just now. Right now his strength is at 18. We could get potentially 4 more strength if we go the other round. And up to 7 more stamina, which is kind of funny. So I could get way tankier. In order to use the final ability, 13 spirit points, so technically I only need to enter the class and I can get what I need there. But sadly, by the time we get this ability, it's kind of useless, since I imagine most bosses that we end up fighting will be uh, not weak to dark, <laughs> I would hope. I mean, if they are, it'd be kind of funny, but I don't think it matters. So anyway, I think we're good here. Let's uh, continue onwards. Oh, my bad. Let's go. I don't think I need to restock anything, right? Yeah, not really. Okay, so let's try going back here and seeing what happens. So presumably we should end up at a new shop. And we could save after we potentially shop there. So I'm gonna go here yet again. and hope that we have enough money for everything that I need for the end of the game. This time we were allowed inside. One night is 150, sure, let's save here. Yeah, I still don't think we'll ever get to a point where the class level up will make a difference unless there is like some ultra grind that I don't remember when we defeat all of the Benevidons. I think there's going to be like maybe three or four more bosses. Maybe. Oh, we ended up in the new area. Nice. Let's talk to the people here. Oh yes, I'm a Monostone Scholar. I once ate Monostones, but with the Darkstone loss, there's only seven. However, after exhaustive research, I've concluded the Dark Stone could be in Night Cavern, north of Loren on Light Castle Island. Okay, so it's coming here just telling us to go north of Loren? Sure. There's a Man of Stone researcher here, you know. Have you seen him? Yeah, we just talked to him. So I'm looking for the merchants and or additional dialogue. Let's talk to you. 
I'm worried the Dragon Lord will destroy the city. I feel it in my bones. I can barely get any sleep. Okay, where is the merchant? <laughs> That's all I want to know, chat. Where is the merchant? Are you the merchant that has the weapons? Uh huh. I mean, you could give me 20 more defense. I don't think I care. Where do you have weapons? I care about weapons at this point. Armor is whatever. I could beat the game without another armor upgrade. I think I'll be fine. But I would like the weapons to speed up the game. Is there, is there seriously not a weapon store here? Or is it on the first floor only? Someplace. If so, I'm very disappointed. I'm hoping it's just in here or something weird. Stone tablet contains the goddess's prophecy about the world's end. You can't read it? Fine, I'll interpret the text for you. The world will fall to ruin, the tree will wither. The sword will be corrupted and despair will reign in Mavolia's domain, but three heroes. The rest of the stone was broken off. I'm sure it further describes the world's destruction at the hand of Mavolia. But we needn't worry yet. Besides, it's nothing to do with me. Can't read the ancient script. Hmm. So we're getting more lore, I guess, but I'm, I just want weapons. <laughs> I, just, I, just, I really want these weapons. Uh... So I can enter this way, but that guy didn't have anything. Belgar, the dark priest in Wendell, turned his back on the temple. Luckily, the priest of light stopped things from getting ugly. Hmm. Chant. Uh, is there really not a shop here other than the armor guy? I mean, it feels like I went everywhere. I'm kind of sad if this is the only shop. I feel like somebody was supposed to be here, unless it's something stupid like he only pops up at night or something. I suppose I should sleep just to make sure it's not that. But I was really hoping for a big damage increase for the end of the game. Armor does not interest me. We, we either die or don't die. I don't really care if I'm at like 150 or whatever. Yeah, let's try to sleep till PM. save the game yet. Let's just see if it's one of those dumb things where they interchange, because there was a there was a town that did that, just for clarity, so this is not coming out of nowhere. I'm hoping the other guy is here. Nope. Hmm. Let's see. I guess there's nothing to do here. Maybe I have to beat the final Benevadon for it to give me something? I would have thought there would have been something other than armor here, but I feel like I went into every building. I just don't understand where it is. Unless it's something stupid, like there's something. if I go this way, there'll be more village stuff. Uh, please don't kill me instantly. So they mentioned where the shadow, the dark stone was. 
I'm gonna hopefully level off at this fight. Indeed I did. Let's get more stamina then. Hmm. Interest, can I get more strength? Nope. Uh, get more stamina then. So no additional seeds. I did not see where the weapon shop is. If it's here. I might just give up on it, to be honest with you. I really don't see it still. Now the question is, do I need to do anything in the visions area? Or do I need to just go straight to the cave? Because they mentioned the cave north of Lorenz, so I'm assuming that's good enough to continue the plot. Because I don't know if I need to physically go to Mirage Palace. I heard of a place called Light Castle, though. It's on a big island north of Laurent. No, from the old prophecy. Why did I bring it up? Yeah, okay. So I feel like I'm supposed to go there. I'm not sure what Mirage Palace does, if anything. Or if that's just like where bonus bosses are in like other playthroughs. So I believe I've now talked to everybody. Oh, maybe not this guy. Oh, this guy was the merchant. Okay, you got me. How much of an increase is this? Uh... Ooh, that's a 32 damage increase. It's possible there's one more increase after this. So I could save 12,000 and potentially get the weaker of the two weapons. I think it just makes sense to buy one weapon and then maybe come back later. In case there's better weapons later. Yeah, we're gonna check after we do one more dungeon. But if nothing else, it'll probably be a spear for her and I could probably use this weapon until the end of the game. So I won't have a regret purchase here because I probably only have enough for two weapons, which is what I thought would happen. So her weapon's okay. Oh, this weapon's fine. So now he really can rack up some boss damage. I'll sell my spare weapons, but on the off chance the weapons upgrade one more time, I'm gonna hold out. Because I'll have her upgrade, I think. Okay. So, I think with that, we're going to try to just leave. So now we have one character that does insane damage. And we skipped wasting our money on some of the interim upgrades, which I think was worth it. Because we would have spent maybe like 18,000 on a single upgrade, and then it would have just been completely nullified within a single dungeon. So there is like the Dark Castle, which we did go to, I think, before, or tried to go here. The game wouldn't let us do anything. So I wonder if we have to land over here and go into the cave. Because I do recall checking this out before, but I think it was like sealed off. Oh yeah, we're doing 100 plus. Oh, ninjas. Oh, ninjas are the other enemy type I don't want to see. Oh boy, am I about to party wipe? I think I am. Please don't die. Wow. That's so unfair. This, the damage of this game makes no sense, chat. Holy, I got one shot again. Well, I guess in that case, do I even want to bother going back to shop? I don't think I do. Well, I actually, never mind. I already saved there. I was thinking I saved in the other place. So we're still going to get the weapon upgrade. The question is, do I want to skimp out on a little damage with the intent that I might be able to get another upgrade later? Because 10,000 gold is a big save. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna skimp on the damage slightly. With the intent that maybe I could get two final weapons at the end. And even if there isn't an upgrade, then I can just sell the other weapon and be fine. 
It's not a big difference in damage either way. So instead of 36 points, it's 32. Which I think I'm okay with. I'm gonna sell each of these. So right now I could still get one more potentially really good weapon. We have some time between now and the end of the game trying to get maybe another weapon unlocked for the... I guess Lenith. I'm gonna save so I don't have to do that again. So unfortunately I think we're in the plan of avoid all combat because ninja damage is stupid. I, I don't know why I forgot about ninja because I was trying to think if there's something as bad as werewolf that would potentially make us lose. And then it answered itself, honestly. Okay. So let's try that again. Ignore all ninja fights. Well, we might kill other things. I just need to see how much we need to level. I imagine not anywhere close. Oh, we are close, actually. Oh, because it didn't save us fighting the golem earlier. That's right. So we did lose a little bit of XP again, sadly. Which I feel like is kind of like the big problem with this game. I go from like doing okay in fights to just legit getting one shot. And I just have no concept of how much damage an enemy is going to do. Also, I realize I never talked to... Oh, that's so annoying. I got to re-talk to the guy so that he tells us we have to go back up north. Man, chat, that is so frustrating to me. I hate redoing things. I really do. And I don't even think I was being that uncautious. Like, I was at full health. I just died. Like, the only thing I skipped was armor, but that's because we just didn't have a lot of money. So I'm gonna talk to you. And then we're gonna do the dungeon, and then I'm absolutely stopping after that. And presumably we'll go to the end of the game from there. Is there anything else I wanted to do with their AI, by the way? Let's have them assist each other, maybe. See if that works a little better. So let's try this again. So I have to say, I had a lot of complaints about the secret Amana enemies stunlock comboing you to death. I have big problems with these enemies just straight up one-shotting me. It's werewolves and ninjas? Oh, this is the worst. Oh, this is the worst dungeon. GG chat, this dungeon is going to be absolutely heinous. It is the two most horrific enemy types in one place. I'm so dead. There is no way I'm clearing this dungeon in any reasonable amount of time. Man, I thought we were done with these enemies. Why are we fighting both of these? Like last time we were in the undead, it was zombies and the jesters and a couple other things. It wasn't werewolf. <sighs> Probably gonna die again. We're just gonna do our best to try to leave. Oh, is this a dead end? Oh no, it's not. Okay, good. This area just sucks, Chad. <gasps> I don't even know what to say. I'm just in complete and utter shock and disappointment at how awful this area is. I mean, I guess I have to kill something so I have a safe place to heal or else I'm just going to die. I'm going to spam heal again and then I'm going to tell her to strength up herself. Maybe this will be good enough, or at least on needs a haircut. We've already taken like 300 damage. I am just getting straight bullied in the corner. This is unreal. I'm doing four damage. Holy. What is this? Come on. What an, what an unnecessary difficulty spike. What a completely unnecessary difficulty spike. Holy. I, I can't... I don't think I could... Yep, you're dead again. Unless I can candy you. I 
I'm just getting absolutely bullied. I can't do anything. This is very frustrating. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. If I die again, I'm just quitting for the night. I'm not doing it again. I have to be in a better mood for this kind of BS. Like, I'm expecting it to be like a little hard. Not like double werewolf ninja every damn room. Like, this is stupid. I'm gonna hopefully do this and let them finally attack things. Holy. Okay, leveled up. We know it can't be strength. Like, that's a perfect example there. I hit right on the spinning wheel and it said stamina wasn't selectable. I don't know why sometimes it does that. Get more stamina. We should all level in this room. I think I'm gonna need the bonus health to survive the upcoming rooms. Uh, probably just one stamina. Chest appeared. I probably want stamina. I'll pick it up with her. It's possible we could get a question mark seed. Nope. Man, how am I going to get through this dungeon? Oh, I'm immediately getting bullied. <laughs> just just immediately took 200 something damage. Oh my gosh. Get me out of here, please. Oh, there's another damn ninja. I'm probably going to die. Let me just try to emergency heal to survive. So I can maybe death abuse to try to cancel our death animation maybe i'm gonna have him just do any ability i don't even care if they're not weak to it just so that he gets to get some additional damage and i think you need to do additional damage or we're just not going to survive the dungeon so any strength up on him is probably fine since he is the right weapon for the dungeon and her being strength up in general should make her on par with him I hit the ninja, which is good, because I don't want him doing anything. I'm going to spam heal, and hopefully we survive if he doesn't attack here. I, I just immediately hit heal, Chad. I just want you to know. Wait, that only did 20. Oh. <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> what is this? Oh my gosh, please heal. <laughs> like, how how is that fair? I literally just, I got one shot completely again by the ninja. Holy. What is this BS? I really hope the remake is not like this. If it is, I don't think I'm going to play the remake to the finish. I'll be real with you. I'm very much losing my patience with this kind of nonsense. I'm like, listen, like, Secret of Mana had a lot of problems in terms of, like, balance, but, like, at least Secret of Mana gave me a chance to get by enemies. I have, like, no chance to get through this. If he just decides to do it, it's GG. If I happen to not be casting something to cancel damage, it's just GG. I don't really find that interesting from a difficulty perspective. I'm very disappointed. Very disappointed in them right now. Please let me get through. Please don't kill me. I don't want to do any fights here if we can avoid it. If we can at least get to a save, I'll feel really nice. But I do not want to come back here under any circumstance for farming or otherwise. Please let me get out of here. Okay, there's another door. Look there! It's the Darkstone, but why? Watch out! Alright, so... Hopefully this fight is not as horrific as the enemies kidding here. We didn't come across a single save stone, or statue I mean, which is really unfortunate. Uh, Zablefar the Bena- Oh, so we're fighting like the... Act Razor final boss for some reason, sure. So before we do that, why don't you... Strength up needs a haircut. 
And then I'm gonna heal everybody preemptively. So he's gonna be our damage carry for sure. I'm gonna make sure we're all at full HP. Let's buff Leneth. So we're doing one damage currently, cool. He's doing 154, so that's not the worst. So we now have two characters potentially there. So we need one more strength up just so I can do some damage with the other character and then we'll move forward. You know what? So far, not as hard as Werewolf or Ninja. I'll take this. I think we'll be fine. I'm gonna respect the potential damage they could do. So sadly, we don't have anything to give us Elemental Saber for this fight. If both of them have different health, health bars, we at least have two characters that can hit either side. Yeah, it looks like both of them have different health totals. So I'm imagining at some point a giant third head will appear, but you know, we'll wait for it, I guess. What are you looking at? We're fighting Zeb Bahar, or whatever they said his name was. The big floating head. The journey here was awful. So I'm hoping I one-shot this, because if I don't, I'm going to be so sad. There will be a quit. I will quit. <laughs> like, I'm not going through this dungeon again. Holy, the damage was out of control. But so far, this is like... 10,000% easier than trying to get a get through a room with a ninja. Like, so far he's only doing 100, like, whatever. Yeah, if you missed it earlier, Chris, I, I literally got one shot two different times so far today. By uh, ninja and werewolf, respectively. Just absolute BS. And one of the one shots wasn't even close. I think I took like 550 damage. You can look at my health totals. And that was before I got more levels. So it just straight up killed me from full health. Full screen, undodgeable. Nice. More damage here. Yeah. Like, I noticed to some extent, like, yes, I could have gotten 30 more defense, but like. How many times would that have necessarily saved me when I'm getting spam hit for like literally 400 plus damage? Like, oh no, I take 360 and I still die instantly in two uses of it, so it doesn't matter still. <laughs> like, I don't know. Just crazy to me. I don't know what they were thinking. Oh, please activate your heal. No? They interrupted your heal? That's unfortunate. Hopefully this does not kill me. Because I definitely cast before they started doing anything. Please heal me. I beg of you, please heal me. I, I cast that spell like 30 million years ago, thank you. So we're healing for at least 300 per... Oh, 365, ooh. Love to see that. Maybe it's somewhat influenced by our total health. Determines our healing, because we didn't get spirit lately. So down to one head, but I feel like it's about to die here. So where's the real fight? There it is. I didn't realize Rita Repulsa was fighting us. We're gonna watch her monsters grow, chat. Okay, that was almost on par with a casual enemy outside of this place, but so far, not not that scared of the bosses. Boss is easy, stage horrendous. It <laughs> totally is Rita Repulsa, exactly. We're like, where's Lord Zed? Get out of here. Nice. The multi-hit specials there save a lot of time. Okay, so let's heal again. She used Annihilate. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> Deleted. Oh, I canceled the death animation. Take that, Rita Repulsa. That was really lucky that I was healing at that time. That literal exact time. Holy, let's cast another heal spell. Let's not mess around, chat. Uh, I'm gonna hit them. Let's hit all three. Ooh. So them casting spells is actually completely fine with me because it gives me a chance to attack more. Oh. You dispelled magic me. That is disrespectful on so many levels. Strength up me immediately. I was about to use an ability. I'm mashing the use item. I'm mashing it, Chad. I'm like, please don't kill my character. I think this is too slow to cancel death if it hits me. Oh, maybe it's fast enough. Maybe I did it. Did I cancel death again? Oh, cancel death again. Yeah, there we go. See, that felt skillful. I'm trying to time it. That was worth it for sure. So I'm trying to keep her health totals up. Oh, my characters are dead. I can't heal during this. I'm going to try to really quickly throw a candy to stop the other character from dying. Ooh, she actually survived normally. That's interesting. I'll do this then to stall. So we are hitting all of the heads, including the main one. So hopefully she dies soon. Like how I told the AI to assist me and it literally hasn't assisted me at all. Thanks game, love it. So we've been doing a lot of big damage to the main head. They've been hitting some of the side heads. I sometimes hit the side heads when I AoE. So we definitely want to heal yet again. So the boss is getting a lot more aggressive, but it's still not as hard as the dungeon was to get here, to be honest. Like, an, unless it, unless every single attack is like 400 plus, I don't care. I like its little shouty face. You took away my buffs. That's rude. Peace heal. I think she saved herself because she was healing. Oh no, she didn't save herself. That's unfortunate. And they canceled my... They canceled my item menu because she just immediately slipped a spell in there. That really sucks. Hopefully I don't die. I'm mashing the item menu. I think we killed one of the heads. I'm mashing the item menu, I beg of you. Please interact. Thank you. So we just need more bodies, I think, alive. So we got four revives left. I'm mashing the item menu. She can heal us, which is good. And then you can strength up her. We should be fine. Ah. So I probably could have restocked my cup of wishes before coming here, but I don't think it'll be necessary. I will chocolate myself, because I really don't want to die. He has enough HP to survive everything other than Annihilate. And then I need to strength up the other characters, I think. So we are doing some damage. So let's go ahead. Why can't I... Why can't I cast? Oh, because you're using a special attack. Please let me... Please let me cast. Please let me cast. Thank you. The strength up yourself, because I think you didn't buff. And then why don't you heal everybody? I'm gonna build up some damage. So that way they can at least go from like 50 damage to like 100, which is a pretty big jump. Ooh, strength up Twinkle, and I think we're good to go. So we have one less attacker. Ooh. 
and fights over GG. That wasn't too bad. It was it was a little long, but we've seen it go much worse. So we'll take this and we'll never, ever, ever come back to this dungeon ever again. Screw this dungeon. Like actually screw this dungeon. No way I'm coming back. The Darkstone reappearing in this realm must have triggered the portal to the sanctuary. Oh no. What? It was a trap. The enemy had us defeat the Benevidon so the sword could absorb their power. Now all eight powers have combined. Did they become Captain Planet when that happens? What have we done? We accidentally play right into the enemy's hands. All we could do is go forward. Let's go. What do you mean go forward? What? Well, there's more? Wait, we're not done? What? You're not gonna let you're not gonna teleport me back to the beginning of the dungeon? Seriously? Oh, there better be a save around here, chat. I'm getting really annoyed. That was such a long fight and it didn't even put us at the start of an area. Okay, let's go restock, because I thought we would just get booted somewhere. Oh boy. Um Where do we go? Okay, so we have a lot of candy. So like we we did come somewhat prepared for this area. I'm just disappointed. Hopefully we get a save soon, question mark. I'm not I am not daring risk going backwards into this dungeon. So I'm gonna go forward. Oh no, there's more. Please get me out of here. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is the path over here, is this a save point? Please be a save point. Please be a save point. Please budge. <laughs> uh, we need to leave screen. We need to leave screen. Oh no, it's gonna make me go all the way around, isn't it? That is, that is so messed up. That is so messed up. This place is just full of one ways. This dungeon gets worse and worse, chat. The more you learn about it. Oh my gosh, no. Please don't make me game over. I, I work so hard to get to here. Okay, I can... I can escape rope. I'm contemplating it, to be honest with you. I'm really contemplating it. We're gonna heal. I'm gonna try to move forward. And hopefully with full health, I can survive. We absolutely cannot deal with the ninjas. They just do way too much damage and they AoE spam. Again, I like that this is just so much more dangerous than the boss. So so that was just a really cruel one way that doesn't put me near a save point or anything, by the way. So thanks, game. We cannot afford to do this dungeon at anything other than full health, so I'm going to spend time to heal here. I mean, look at that. I took 90 damage. If I would equipped to another armor, I would have taken 50. But just like two werewolves, I would take over 200 damage still. So I'd still die in about two hits. Well, uh, excuse me. I'd survive till the third hit of <laughs> their combo. Where they go one, two, one, two, then one, two, I'm dead. <laughs> oh, beheaded statue. Yes, I would love to save the game. Is this like actually the end of the game? I actually don't remember because I've never done this path before. So I'm assuming it's not directly the end of the game, but we'll find out. If it is, I will try to rope and escape. I absolutely don't want to fight anything here. Nope. At least I won't lose my save progress here. So I tried interacting with the statue and I can't do anything. So... What was the point of this room? Okay, there's stairs down here. I love I'm I'm almost dead. I'm almost dead. Cool. Love it. I'm glad we saved earlier. <laughs> so if you thought I was exaggerating before, Chris, did you see how much damage I took in those three seconds? I took more I took almost literally 400. Straight up. They are so much more deadly than the boss, it's like not even fair. So she almost died again. If I wasn't healing, she would have died, I think. So let's get out of here. Yeah, they're just so they're so overpowered. I just don't know why they're like this. I'm pushing forward with Duran, and if anybody else dies, it's just kind of whatever at this point. I'm just hoping we could survive. Because I feel like if I play Charlotte and get hit, it's just over slash twinkle. 
I just have to keep pushing forward where I die. I managed to get out of combat there. That was really good. <laughs> Again, I don't trust the game. I'm going to heal every single opportunity. So I found another boss. Um. Wait. Stop, don't push, we'll fall. And then we fall. I love how I'm just unconcerned about the bosses, by the way. I just, <laughs> the bosses at this point are whatever. Oh, oh, that's heinous. Don't make me fight all three of those. I see you've defeated all the Benevodons. How kind of you. His dark majesty needs the power of the true form in order to be revived. You were fe you fiends were after this from the very beginning. What do you intend to accomplish? We are from Mavolia. The goddess of mana trapped us in that underworld until now. We intend to reclaim this world and turn it into Mavolia itself. Then our master, his dark majesty himself, will be reborn as the ruler of all. We have no more need of you three. Perish. Okay, so we are just in straight up another boss battle. Cool. Um, I'm just going to use her to stall that enemy. To be real with you, chat. I'm like, I d the werewolf needs to die. Listen, boss. Boss, I can survive. Everything else, no. Oh god, he's already doing 150 damage. So, like, I guess in some ways, 40 more defense would mean I'd take, instead of 140, I would take maybe 80, because it would take defense twice. But that's still an insane amount of damage, and he could just repeatedly punch you like that, too. Completely insane. I'm gonna hopefully just use her to buff me, and then we should be good. So if we could kill the werewolf, we have it. Oh no. Is this GG? Did I just die again? How, chat, how on earth is that fair? How on earth is that a fair amount of damage? <laughs> like, do you see what I mean? Like, there is just, there is just no mercy with this game and the werewolf. Holy. The true final boss is here, chat. There, there's some annoying vampire knockoff character and then the real final boss. He's coming at me, chat. He's definitely going to kill me if I let him. Alright, so what I need you to do, why don't you strength up Twinkle, and then while I'm doing this, we're going to burn our MP to kill this character, because I swear, if he gets a turn, we're just dead again. Like, just straight up. Just, it's unwinnable if he gets another turn. Oh, please hit everybody here. So we're going to hopefully weaken him into the killing blow here. You missed the giant heads. So this might kill the succubus. More importantly, it should kill the werewolf. And we're gonna spam heal, just in case we're getting targeted by something horrible. Oh, I stabbed her on the way out. That was kind of nice. So werewolf died. Main threat over. He force shoved us, which does like... He does less damage than the werewolf does. <laughs> like, why do I care about the bosses in this game? Holy, he did 180, that's it? Werewolf straight up one-shot my healer. <laughs> like, okay. I don't care about that damage. Try again. Okay, 1,000 XP. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Ignore that. I cast a spell on him, which is kind of unfortunate. That did a lot of damage. Wait, that did a hilarious amount of damage. Also, sorry about that. Um, oh, because she was casting, I couldn't do anything there. Okay, unless this does like 400 damage, I don't care. Are you gonna do 400? You do 180, that's it? That's all you got? All right, this, this fight's over, I think. So we're gonna try to heal each other and then I'm gonna cast a spell there. Even if this goes off, I think I should live, as long as one of the characters survives this. Oh, that did no damage. Why am I worried, chat? He do he's weaker than Werewolf. They, they should have just had, like, four Werewolves as the final boss. I would not have been able to win against that. True story. Not an exaggeration. If only she combined their powers in one spot. Oh, that was big damage. Oh, maybe Psychic Blast is if I use a spell on him. 
Maybe? I'm not sure. Either way, all of his companions are dead, so I'm not really that worried about him. Okay, he did do an immediate spell follow-up, which is kind of annoying. But I don't think this will kill anybody. So fortunately, we've been leveling Spirit a lot, so this should make us survive. So right now, he's just letting us get a million free hits on him, which is very nice of him, very polite. Ghost Leader. I'm mashing the item use, just in case. That was a little more damaging. It's still half as powerful as Werewolf was, and it had more of a startup. Right, chat? It's not werewolf, so it's winnable. What an unfair enemy type, chat. Okay, I already healed. Why can't I select her? Oh, because she's leaping. So hopefully we'll be able to move forward. If there's more bosses after this, I, I have a hard cutoff after this. I was kind of expecting to just be able to go back to town. But if this keeps going, then I need to stop for sure. If I have to quick save, I'll quick save. This is now getting very late. Can't heal again for some reason. There we go. There's like certain parts of her attack animation I could cancel, some I can't. It's a bit unfortunate. Okay, good damage potentially here. So we only have one character with a super weapon, the other characters are one tier down from where they potentially could be. But I feel like her damage is still mostly fine. Why can't I heal? Oh, because she's doing that attack. Almost in a way, I don't want her to do strikes, but it is useful damage. Okay, so this will still heal me because we were in range at the time of the cast. That's fair. I was worried that would somehow cancel the spell because she got flung full screen. So we're doing like insane damage if we can hit him. Although we missed, I think, every single strike there, which is kind of embarrassing. So I think at this point the game expects me to be at the second class level, but as we stated earlier, I was expecting to clear this dungeon at like 32, 33. So maybe after we beat this boss on top of the other boss, we'll hit 33, maybe. We need to be level 38 for the class exchange. Yeah, so maybe, maybe if I had five more levels, I would survive the one shot with the healer. Maybe. But it still would have been insanely unfair, and still way over tuned compared to the bosses. So yeah, sadly they're only doing like 30s and 40s. I'm just gonna make sure that she had a buff on, in case I forgot to rebuff her or something weird. Charlotte's never going to do that much damage, slash Twinkle, so I'm not super worried about it. But I would like it if our other character did some damage. Nice. That's that's real damage. Uh-oh, am I getting annihilated? Uh, can I cancel the death animation? Nope. I tried! You saw I went for it. Uh, maybe there's just some attacks you can and some you can't. That's all I can think of. I'm gonna full heal myself, because I only need one character to live. And then I just need a second character to survive in case we get janked out by uh, Annihilate. And have you heal, and then I can have you strength up Twinkle should be good to go. So I'm not sure how much HP this character has, but the fight is kind of dragging a little bit, not gonna lie. Some of it has to do with how much I need to heal, and also the panic with the werewolf for sure. 
Okay, this is fine. So every single one of these is worth like 20 attacks at this point. It's just so much damage. Using Annihilate again. I'm gonna try using a different healing item to see if it works. Let's try Honey Elixir. Oh, come on. I guess that attack just can't be death canceled. Like, we did it before. Kind of unfortunate. And he's just immediately casting another spell. How much I could do about that. Hopefully we survive this, because I didn't get a good heal in. Okay, good. Good, good healing timer. Since that'll heal everybody. And then... I can use Strength Up yet again on Twinkle. We just gotta finish the fight. It's just like a little more. She only does one without buffs. Does like 40 with buffs. We're, we're getting some damage in. Really need to wrap this up in like five minutes, hopefully. I'm very curious what this boss's HP is later. I might look it up as soon as we finish. So fortunately, we've been able to spam healing light. This might have been a little rough without AoE heals. Like, I would have been going through a lot of generic healing items, I think. But the fact that we still haven't touched our walnuts yet means that, like, I have a hilarious amount of MP. So that's always nice. Yeah, we still have 66 MP. Please kill him with that attack. Wait. I'll try to candy. Maybe maybe I gotta wait longer for like the bounce. Maybe that's long enough. Don't. I'm running lower on revives, which is a little concerning because I don't seem to have any counterplay to being just straight up one shot. So now this boss is probably the most deadly boss that we fought. Just from the standpoint that it just constantly takes people out over and over. So it's going to be a war of attrition to some extent. So we're going to use our healing again. Oh, wait a minute. When we get Cups of Wish, we get full MP? Oh, I didn't know that. I just realized that for the first time. Oh, no. This can't be. You won! And we leveled up. He had 15,947 HP. That is a lot of HP. That would explain why that felt like a struggle. Uh, stamina for sure. I don't care about my other abilities. Can I get more strength? I'm probably strength capped. Stamina for sure. I think I hit the cap, so I don't think I could get any higher. Uh, stamina for sure. Maybe 464 is good enough. Alright, we're gonna do a safety quick save. I would like to go to a real save, but just in case, I do not want to do another boss. If it forces another boss, I'm done. Where- uh, why is there- Thank you, Black. Thank you, Black Spidey, for uh, subscribing. I would just like to say, chat, that is so unfair on so many levels. I would just like to state, can we all just agree that was unfair? Did you like me taking 90% of my health there? I think I canceled her death animation there by making her cast it. Maybe that's what the secret is. Maybe I have to make her cast a spell and then that will ignore death. Because there is no way I'm surviving this other nonsense. I'm, in fact, I'm in kill range again. So even if we game over, at least I made that quick save. <laughs> I have no regrets at this point, chat. Like, this is insane how much damage these things are doing. It makes no sense. So we're back here again. It... Okay. 
Uh, no. Where, where wave our finger? Mm-mm. Right, chat? Mm-mm. We're gonna try climbing the stairs again. I should be near the official save point. Okay, chat. Let's stop here for now. Ooh. Been lurking. Thank you for the lurk. Holy, what a, what a struggle <laughs> last part of that. Oh my gosh, chat, why? Just like, why, why did they make this? So I guess we'll talk a little bit. We don't necessarily need to go to Let's Chatting here right away. But, uh, wow. Uh, difficulty spike is real. Let's chat. Get the resubscribe again because it loves it going between scenes. So what were the big problems of today's session? Well, I got lost briefly, but I think that wasn't, you know, it, it wasted more time than difficulty. But wow, what was that? Like three different enemy types that one shot us. We had two different bosses that did the annihilate spell that just insta kill us. I don't know, chat. It just... At first, I was thinking, like, wow, they fixed a lot of the, of the problems of Secret of Mana. And then I'm playing today, and I'm like, I don't think they fixed a damn thing. <laughs> I'm like, this was the same nonsense we dealt with in Secret of Mana. Did they not learn? Why is every enemy in, like, insta-kill range? I just, I don't understand, chat. I really don't. So I feel disappointed, definitely, for sure. The balance of the last couple of sessions has just been all over the place. I think they want you to do some like really excruciating grind. And to be fair, like we are doing extra kills. I just don't want to be sitting there for literally like 50, 55 minutes per dungeon fighting them. Like we skip some rooms, but then we go back and we just go ahead and we get extra levels. There's a couple times I specifically Went back to rooms and full cleared it, even though I didn't need to. But man, it's just like, most of the bosses are not super difficult. It's just more of a can you heal grind fest, which to me is like not very interesting, sadly. But man, just what were they thinking with the ninjas and the werewolves in particular? Just absolute madness. What is this battle lance you speak of? Pretty much. I'm really curious. I, I will very, I don't like to look at guides when I play, but I'm like, where is the end of this nonsense? <laughs> I just want to see. I don't want to, I'm assuming we're not at the final battle. I'm curious how much more is here. Yeah. As we fought Sable far, then we went here. Scrolling down. I guess we're literally at the very end. So I guess this is okay. So I, I'm just confirming something because I ha I haven't played uh, in quite some time. So it looks like from our standpoint, it literally just goes to the end. So if I want to get upgrades, I should go back now. But the problem is, like, do I really want to leave this dungeon? <laughs> I'm just like I was. I was thinking we were gonna go through this the portal, the sanctuary. I don't know about that. Welcome, Prismatic Blaze. But I'm just like, wow. That was that was something, chat. So we'll we'll talk a little more, I think. But I think in terms of the game itself, I think I'm done for now. But we are literally at the tail end of the game. It's very likely we're gonna gain at least two levels before the end of the game. And it's very likely next session will be the end unless some serious roadblock occurs. So for now, chat, we're going to say goodbye to Trials of Mana. So if you did watch to this point, the video or the VOD, I'd just like to say thank you for watching and hope to see you again in the next part.